game. Holy shit, that's damaging. I almost never use that move and I use it randomly and it works because people aren't expecting it. Good shit. The frame rate again seems choppy. Does the frame rate seem choppy to you guys? Maybe I can try to refresh it after this set. See if I can expect the frame rate to be better. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm already a couple of beers in, so you guys have some catching up to do. Unless you're at work, uh, then I guess you'll have to drink double, because you have to even out the vibe from being at work and also watching the stream, right? And I'll be in the dark today, because uh, my office is chill, so I want to be like this. Alright, uh, welcome! There's no intro, there's no songs. It's just a random, well, almost 1 a.m. stream. That. I guess I'll take the win, but I definitely... Because uh, I overslept today, so I slept a little bit late. So that means I'm gonna be staying late. Um, yeah. Hey, big ups Dwight Race. I won again on, um... Hobos and Dogs. Extreme LOL Cow Wrestling. Speaking of which, some time ago, I made a logo from this. Uh, for, for ELW, but I never ended up sending it to you. I might actually have it. Still. I don't know. So we're just kind of playing around. So, uh, yeah, Dave is still live. Uh, we're gonna be... I actually don't know. I was thinking of just, um, going through the pre-stream of today. And playing some games, I guess. Even though the games that I gotta play is basically just, um... Good shit. Uh, just the Star Wars game. Now it's or actually, what do I have cooked nope, up? Nope, not chopped again. Man, it's like inconsistent. Yeah, it's just All Star right. Wars. Cause, dude, I've been uh, right. I've been downloading Call of Duty Modern Warfare, oh, the, the 2019 one, yeah, but it's no like this fucking check. bitch Maybe is a thousand fucking gigabytes, and then all of them are like modularly downloading, so every part of the game is a different segment. And once it all downloaded, it just told me that I'm missing like half the game. And I'm like, what? Dude. Where are Lily's weapons? Uh, Tonfuck. Oh. But they're, they're special ones. Fucking terrible. See here. Uh, yeah. I'm not actually okay. gonna be I've watching seen, him play Street uh, Fighter. Five dollar tip from I Big guess. Papa Phil. I was busy with work. Big, I was big Papa Phil. Fuck off. Uh, let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna get another beer. We have a lot to talk about today. We've got tons of game news. We've got cool positive updates on upcoming projects. We've got new game playthroughs this week. The first major DLC character for Street Fighter VI. It's a very, very eventful week and a very eventful level one podcast in just a sec. Well, we're doing the fake intro again, huh? Very nice. I'm a big fan of the fake intro. Very nice. Super hype. Super hype. We love it. We all love it. Uh, Jade is here in chat. And uh, he says, I so happy today. Miss Street Fighter. So there you go. All right. How is everyone today? I hope I find you well. I'm doing well today, that's for sure. I'm going to get a beer, big ups. Friday, the 21st of July, 2023. As I stated, this is the beginning of a brand new streaming week here on DSP Gaming, which I'm very, very excited for because we've got a great variety of content coming up for you guys this week. Um, although, <clears throat> I do have to change the schedule up a little bit from what I initially intended. Uh, due to some news and updates and things going on. Yeah, Street Fighter is oh, gonna have man. a downtime, am, uh, isn't it? Busy, busy, but busy in a good way. Oh, he's Let's so busy. All right. We have Phil's so day off today. Hey, that's super Friday. exciting. All having a great weekend. 
Uh, and uh, I hope that you are ready for some gaming fun because there's going to be quite a lot of it over the course of this week. Uh, six straight days of streaming again for me. A good variety of stuff this week, of course, with lots of Street Fighter coming up. But at the same time, we've got the progress and Final Fantasy 16 is expected. But a new playthrough based on your requests and You guys votes. asked for it. It's Grand Theft Auto V. Again. Ten years. Enjoy. A great way to start off Super my hype. celebration. My 15-year anniversary as a YouTuber is in just a month, and I'm very excited to start celebrating that all with you by doing a cool throwback-style playthrough of a game that I've only done one full playthrough of before, and, uh, you know, after a decade, I think it's a good time to redo it. <clears throat> awesome, right? Yeah, it's amazing. So, I can't wait. I am very excited for this. We'll talk about right. this in a moment as we get to the schedule. Um, plus... First DLC character for Street Fighter VI releases this week with Rashid on Monday, plus some gameplay changes to the game that may or may not actually improve it significantly. I guess we're going to see. So uh, I am definitely excited for everything coming up this week. I hope that you guys are too. Uh, we got a lot to talk about today. Being that yesterday was my day off, it means that we're going to do the Phil's Day Off segment. Uh, we also have gaming news. Really I wonder what the gaming news are today. To say, Very excited. Uh, this is a super exciting stream. That I did during my day off. However... I do have a major update on an upcoming event that's only about a week away. So oh, that's wow. going to be exciting as well. Uh, plus, we have time. Some what is that? See. Like, what? what is that event? What? It's only a week away. Oh, it's week. the fucking machinima dog shit nonsense. Oh, my yeah, God. Please don't. Game news wise and the like. Please right, fucking let's just get don't. Started. Uh, before we <clears throat> jump into the week coming up, which obviously you want to know because the schedule has actually changed a little bit. Um... I'd like to tell you about my day off. Let's get this out of the way. We'll re yeah, let's get it out of the way. Off, uh, what did you do? Shall we? And I totally wish that I uh, could play my Phil's Day Off music, but we don't have it anymore. That device broke. What? It it broke? Other, so frustrated. How um, did it break? I believe that I have the sound clips on my computer, but I just haven't had a chance to look yet. How does he break such a simple thing like the sound box? It was like a sound box from like 20 years ago. How the fuck do you even break that? You only use it like once a day. He presses on it only once a day, and it just broke, and he threw it out. Wow, that's awesome. And he also had a backup one, but we're going to imagine that that didn't happen, and we're for going to forget about it existing. Okay. Someone had sent me these, like, months ago. And I know I'm nitpicking, but it's fun. Come on. Hey, if you ever want to use... It's a 40-year-old man using a fucking sound box to play clown music. Come on. How is it not funny to nitpick? The sound effects and your sound makers broke and do those. I'll have to figure this out. Maybe set up like my own little soundboard on my PC. Oh, how are um, you gonna do that? By the way, just for the like record, this? by the way, happy, uh, happy we'll belated birthday, off. Jade. I know yesterday yeah, was his birthday. He's I actually telling me in the chat about some man. of the stuff that he did. Sounds like a pretty fun day. Wait, what, Jade? <laughs> hey, happy birthday, Jade! Yeah. <laughs> it's time eat cake. Yeah. I hope that you had a good one. All right, so. Let's talk about this egg. It time cake. This egg is incredibly interesting. What? It's not. This is actually just my hand squeezer. I'm just using it during the A podcast. hand squeezer. This dude is fucking tweaking. Let's talk about yesterday. My <laughs> hand off. squeezer. Right. Is is this a thing he's been regularly using? Is the first time I've ever seen it. So a hand squeezer. <clears throat> he's rocking back and forth. He's squeezing the thing. He's touching his face. With, with clearing his throat. The dude is just a straight up tweaker. There's no going around it. He needs a hit. He needs some crack. Just give it to him, please. Excuse Send me. him a tip. He gets it fastest. Yes. Big ups uh, Decepticron for four months, dude. Here is a I need my boyfriend. I need my boyfriend. No. Okay. I opted. <laughs> this soft dog remem uh, reminds me of the Decepticron trilogy on uh, Pastor Miller. Or as he called them, the deceptive hand job, and uh, he uh, used the the soft dog as a censorship for all the naughty words. No, was great. To have a way more <laughs> relaxed, chill day off. Than yes, before. please. As I told you last week, um, I had a very hectic, busy, and stressful day off. I had to take Jasper Kitty to the vet, and I had one of the worst vet visits I had ever had. Uh, I got upsold. Is it worse than oh, uh, when you crap, took Cat? Mistreated, wasn't even put into a, a freaking a room for him to be examined. He was mistreated. Was really if you want to hear that whole story, watch last week's Level 1 podcast from my, my day back. He was so, mistreated. Like, was a really bad experience. <laughs> um, and suffice to say, we're probably never going back to that vet ever again. We're not um, even going back to it. This They're going to change Jasper's um, 
private doctor. <clears throat> Come on, man. I definitely wanted to do. Hey, big ups duty for the right. membership, dude. Problem was, it was 90 degrees outside yesterday. Okay. To run errands. So 90 degrees Fahrenheit is not too crazy. Let me just give you a perspective. Uh, 90 Fahrenheit to Celsius, right? Is only 32 degrees Celsius, which is kind of casual for this time of the year in most of Europe. Uh, we're seeing somewhere like a hundred. Hey, bite, eat, ear pick, wipe, hair brush. Ah, oh, dude, that was a random combo. Unearned, totally unearned ear pick. So said to my wife, well. I'm just gonna do the minimal amount of stuff to do today. We're, we're getting like 38. We're getting done. over a hundred um, on the day Fahrenheit off, like, here so on the on a regular on a daily basis. I don't want to be outside, you know, in this heat, uh, you know, it, 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 as little as possible, basically, right? So basically, I did the, the 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 bare minimum of what needed to be done. You know, grocery shopping. Uh, Jasper needed some pet supplies, stuff like that. While I was out and about, ran around, did some basic stuff, and uh, didn't spend too much time outside of the home. Uh, got home and uh, oh, you can a, now yeah. also uh, like super chats, which makes no sense because by default you should probably like all of them because it's just somebody giving you money to say something in chat. So big up Susan for making this amazingly unnecessary fucking change improvement to your platform. Big ups. Yeah, there we ordered. I like how I'm slandering Susan when she doesn't even work for YouTube anymore. But fuck you, Susan. Mexican food. You bitch. A new restaurant we had never eaten from before. And <clears throat> I'll just say, you literally, you, you get to like people giving you money. That's the most DSP thing ever. Oh my god, you sent me a super chat. I like that. Here's a here's a like emoji. The food was good, but for some reason I didn't get exactly what I ordered, which is always frustrating. Like I ordered, uh chicken enchiladas but i wanted it in the what do they call it the mole sauce on it and they just gave me regular enchiladas which is fine the enchiladas were good but <clears throat> i wonder what happened because you know when you so what was the problem online delivery oh yeah services. the problem is that he didn't get what he wanted yeah okay the receipt on i get the bag, it and it said just regular chicken enchiladas and i know for a fact i checked the app and everything it said that i ordered the enchiladas with mole sauce so i have no clue there's a disconnect between the online ordering and the restaurant itself a little weird but the food was good. Uh, my wife and I, you know, she had a burrito, and I had these two uh, two chicken enchiladas. And uh, we spent a lot of time at home uh, basically doing stuff around the house. We cleaned the house a lot. I actually went around the whole house with a duster, and I wow. dusted every room in the house, including this office, which, oh, my God, of course, had a ton of dust buildup. <clears throat> wow, this thing that everybody does on a weekly basis, maybe even a, every once a couple of days, is super impressive to me, DSP. That's what that's what you get when you run a household. That's what household operators do, not just simple fucking idiots on the internet. Which is really gross. Yeah. Um, but you know, other the bathrooms and stuff, you start dusting like, oh my god, there's so much dust in this house. Oh my god, so much dust. So we did that. We actually cleaned like the whole downstairs. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we did some really exciting stuff. We did the laundry. Whoa. Yeah, we washed clothes and folded them and stuff. You we? Know, but here's the deal. <clears throat> Seriously. Isn't that cat's job as a female? Of course. When you do it with someone you love, when you do it with your significant other, <laughs> it's not so bad. Do you know, like, oh, dude. By yourself, incredibly boring. No one's going to enjoy doing that. But I'm doing Why it. Why not, though? You, know, you put on a podcast in the background. You put on that being said. You're fucking washing dishes. You're having the time of your life. You're washing your clothes, you're dusting. It's a banger. It's awesome. But the DSP doesn't enjoy anything. Everything for him is a chore until he gets to sit on his couch, play champions. With my, uh... Or do it with his wife. Somehow, Cat makes everything super entertaining and interesting. I'm doing it with my wife, and we're having a better time. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I'm really enjoying myself because we're, we're talking and everything while we do it. And that's cool. You know, and by the way, doing all that stuff together makes it go faster. Again, if you're cleaning or whatever by yourself, right, then it takes forever. But if you do it with someone else, then it's, it's quicker. So it was fun. You yeah, that's why you listen to stuff. When we're doing this stuff, which is kind of fun. He's always in, up in the business. Um, So it was good. It was a good day. And then after that, we relaxed. We watched some TV. We watched some, um, just some like reality TV. Remember I told you that HBO Max turned into Max about a month or two ago. And when they did, they merged a bunch of content. So we're watching like different reality shows, like, like what cooking shows, oh, food watching cooking like house shows, and, you know, just They're random cool. stuff, just to kill some time and to, to, to relax, cool. basically. 
And at night, we actually had some relaxing margaritas together, which was oh, very nice. Oh, nice. Together Come night. on. You're making me jealous, Philly boy. Come on. Stop with all the, the romantic stuff. I'm starting to feel jealous. You're having such a, an amazing, blossoming relationship. So, oh, it was a good day. Come on, Overall, Phil. it was a pretty good day. Um, the one thing that's pertinent to, obviously, my content and streams that I did yesterday is that last night, before I went to sleep, I started going through the very arduous task of reviewing all of my emails from ridiculously long ago. What? Oh, the machinima stuff. Machinima. Yeah. All right. And I told you this. We have a, an event coming up. This dude is getting tomorrow, super obnoxious about it. The super obnoxious. Long form he's acting like he sued them. He's acting like they fucking ruined his life or something, and he got like five million dollars from him. And it's like the documentary about Phil's life. How how I destroyed Machinima. And it was just, the reality is he was just a mediocre YouTuber who got signed by a network. And eventually they dropped him because he wasn't making enough money anymore. That's it. I just summarized this six hour fucking event in 10 seconds. React event that I'll be doing over on my DSP Reacts channel exclusively. And, during and then, you know what that shit's gonna be? It's, it's him gonna be reading fucking emails and watching the June the King dry ass boring video and looking at the camera smugly and nodding his head because uh, they were such fucking idiots and they are so terrible and they were so incompetent. And he outlived them and he outlasted them. So uh, take that, you fucking idiots. This event, not only <clears throat> will I be reacting to Splash. a made about Machinima by Bars. GK, but I'm essentially making my the own documentary. Kind of documentary based on my experiences with this company. Oh, and, and he's <laughs> he's making his own documentary based on the other dude's documentary. So he's going to be adding more stuff on top of the documentary that is already documented. You know what I mean? That, no. Just to give you some don't. perspective here, right? Okay. I have emails dating... Okay, let me give you some perspective here, right? You're going to take the dude's video, the dude that worked probably like 12, 20, 30 hours to get this video out there, and you're going to talk over it for like six hours and read some fucking emails that remotely relate to anything that's happening, and then you're going to call that a documentary. Back to 2009. Whoa. Like 14 years ago. Okay. Did you know that before I partnered with Machinima in 2011 and became part of their partner network, that I had actually had business relationships with Machinima before that. Did you know that they were incredibly unprofessional and I cut Why does this them matter? Years because of it. Why does it matter? Did I even ever talk about it? <clears throat> well, you should have talked about it while it was relevant and now it's not in it's fucking Machinima. It's dead, it's gone. Why talk about it? What's the point? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember. know either. But I started searching my emails and I found all my emails about it. I was like, oh shit. I have everything. <clears throat> so this is going to be pretty cool because not only am I going to be reacting to someone else's documentary, but I'm going to have all this exclusive stuff to talk exclusive about. Exclusive stuff. About my initial, you know, negotiations and signing up with them. I got emails about when they renegotiated contracts and offered promotional opportunities. I've got all the information about my first trip to E3, which is a it's a it's a hoot to say the least because <clears throat> All right, I don't want to spoil it, but just to say to say that it was like absolutely ridiculous back then, and we're talking like 12, 13 years ago, right? Things back then were so different, unprofessional. It was like a party atmosphere half the time. Okay. It was just dumb. Yeah, nothing was professional on YouTube 13, 14 years ago when YouTube was just kicking off. Because all you're trying to do is make content, make money, and trying to work with a company like that that's, that was like disorganized and everything. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I, you you were recording your screen with a fucking camcorder. You're not the one to talk about professional or organized. Come on, Phil. Let's be honest. And also, he was expecting to make a living from that. All this stuff. I basically last night reviewed emails all the way through like maybe mid-2013. Okay. And I started, you know, capturing them. So I have screen grabs to show you during this event. And so I'm doing this and I'm like, wow, this is a lot. And I'm not even kidding you, probably already I have like 20 or more screen grabs just from 2009 to 2013. Now I stayed a partner with Machinima all the way through early 2017. So I've got a lot more to go through. And then what I basically gotta do is narrow it down to the, the, the stories and things that I think are more okay. interesting for you guys. Um, 
Uh, you know, no. And it'll be fun. It's gonna be the worst of DSP. Like, actually the worst of DSP. The smug, I told you so, and I know better than you, DSP. That guy. Hating what to do in regard- And it, that's gonna be like for, for six to eight hours straight. Dang. He's gonna be smug, he's gonna be looking at the camera and giving like the, the snake laugh. Oh, that's nasty. A lot of the emails and stuff that I, I hate have them. are just me talking with the machine of my employees at the time. And, you know, it has their names and stuff in the emails, but the thing is, they were it's public knowledge that they were employees of Machinima. None of these discussions are like, oh my god, top secret hush-hush information that okay. makes us look bad. It's not, you know what I mean? So, then, but you're, you're just killing your own hype. So, you know, having those emails, <laughs> I don't think- Only Pignert can turn someone else's work into a saga for his benefit to do bunnies of a docket in FML. Yes, that is true. That's true. And now I'm going to like your super chat because I agree with you. And there's a button that says send a heart. I'm going to send you a heart. Thank you, Joey Rivera, for the super chat. It really matters whose name is on it. There you go. Because those people I like I mean, so I actually checked it out. I was like, this person, you know, publicly says they worked for Machinima. Here's their LinkedIn profile that says that they had, that they worked for them. Okay. And they like they're embarrassed that they worked for Machinima. So obviously there'd be emails <laughs> with them involved, right? So oh man! Oh yeah! So yeah, he uh, that that's what he says to excuse just name dropping the guy, the a guy from like ten years ago. To show like names. Does it even emails. matter? There, again, there's no personal data or anything there. It was just okay talking business about Machinima. Back just talking before, business way back when. <clears throat> so anyway, I got a lot more to go through. Like I said, I only got to like mid 2013, but the, here's there is one bummer. All right, there's one bummer. And here's the one bummer. I can't actually uh, show you the contracts that I had with Machinima. All right? You might say, well, why not? Because they were all online. They were all digitally signed. I never had an actual paper contract with Machinima. What? They were all done through... Oh, those websites. You know how those online signing websites wait. where they send you a form digitally? You click here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you don't have a copy of your work contract? You don't have a copy of it? Do this, do that. That's not like a PDF, not a doc file, not nothing. And I know it was a long time ago, but... They were all done. And because they were all done... They must have attached like a copy on your email and send you a copy. That's what all jobs do. Done that way, when you click on those links today, they don't work anymore. The company went out of business, so any archived contracts they had were deleted. Uh, sure. So I have no actual like record i wish i did it would have been really neat to look at the terms and conditions of the machinima contracts that i had to see how how ridiculously restrictive or not they were and i don't really have that anymore because the company doesn't exist and all their data deleted so there's nothing i can do about that i never had like a hard i never once ever did i have a hard copy of any contract with machinima it's not like they sent me a paper contract or anything like that why would they send you a paper contract so I have no, nothing that saved up in that regard I mean, it's good that I have all the emails. I mean, how many people save all their emails? No one. I do. I've got all the evidence of anything I ever talked with these guys about. And uh, I think particularly... Okay, that's that's a weird flex. How many people save all their emails? I do. I have 50,000 emails. After these, I would say, here's the different eras of Machinima. The 2009 interaction, <laughs> which was a bait and switch, and they treated me really badly. Okay. The 2011 interaction... You were dog shit, DSP. You got kicked off blip for racism. ...where they signed me up for the partner network. Then the initial interactions after that and how they treated me like for that first year. Then I would say the trip to E3 and how that went down. Then the contract renegotiations for less money and YouTube hitting everyone with content ID. Okay. Then I think the next major thing after that would likely have been Project 7 and how they handled that. Because that was really interesting what happened there because they were supposed to actually promote and air my Project 7 show on their channels and it never really happened they kind of lied good. To me about it which is kind of messed up yeah maybe they thought it wasn't good enough um and then i remember uh when i was a kid i had this gaming channel and back then on youtube you had like a thousand networks and i was partnered with one of the networks and i was getting like 20 views i don't even know how they partnered me and i i wrote them an email and that's me being like 12 years old and i wrote them an email and i was like can you highlight one of my videos on your page and they're like, no, you make like 20 views. And then I was like, yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, now replace me with DSP when he was like in the mid-30s. There's the 2015 debacle <laughs> of 
false copyright strikes against my channel. Okay. They gave me advice to do stuff that destroyed my channel, and I'm actually not there yet. Like I said, I'm searching emails, and I got up to 2013. I have to see what actual interactions I have kind of documented with them at that time to see exactly what I can say. Oh, okay, here's the evidence of this or that, you know. Um. All right. D so do I'm we really going. need all this info before we you actually have the event? I'm still gonna have several nights. The cinema contract is infamous and easy to find. Uh, yeah, I, I can actually try and find it now. Here's a like for this super chat. Big ups, uh, shitty streamers. Of sifting through see. all this correspondence I ever had with the company, and then that event is Saturday, July 29th, a marathon event on DSP Reacts. Not only will I be reacting to. The June the King documentary, it's about 50 minutes long, but you know me. When I watch these documentaries, I comment, I pause, I add a ton of context of my own perspective. So likely that's going to end up being like two hours or more. And then the rest is going to be me telling all my stories about Machinima and actually showing you emails to show you the correspondence and thing I had with them. It's not me just talking on my butt. I'm actually going to try to have corroborating, you know. All right, I can't find it right saying. now. I'm being sure, stupid yeah, right now. Happened, and here's how this All right, was. you guys okay. can find it. You guys are smarter than me. Very different Bleh. from tomorrow. Okay, but anyway, I started work on that last night, <clears throat> so it was part of my day off. All right. All right. All right. Oh, he so, worked on his day off. That's a that's a big flex. Today, let's talk about the schedule coming up. Uh, let's right, actually got not. Some major interesting things going on. Some changes going on that I need you to know. Uh, because it's pretty important. I'll button down part the super chat, and it does something, but I don't know what it does. <clears throat> it just shows the guy you it hearted his super chat. Where do you guys see the heart? It's absolutely worthless. I mean, it's, it's the weirdest, most unnecessary feature ever. Where did you guys see it? So what, Some somebody's gonna send you like 10 bucks and you're gonna heart it, but then someone's gonna send you a dollar and then you're not gonna heart it. So like, what 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 is the, the idea? Why would you implement a feature it's, like this? It shows on the super chat. It shows in the top right corner of the super chat on the screen. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And then if you click on the super chat on the top of the chat, it still shows. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah. All right. So it's a way to just kind of interact with the super chat. All right, because you couldn't do that before. <clears throat> okay. Well, if okay. I have a chance to do sure. that, I'll do that. It's of a course, great feature. I'm games and, you know, I always have the opportunity to do that. But maybe if on a show like, you know, the podcast and stuff and we're talking, I'll always do my, I'll fave, what do they call that? Heart the Super Chat, like the Super Chat, fave the Super Chat. I don't even know what the hell you would call that because it's a new system, right? I'll do that. Cool. All right. Anyway, I got distracted. I don't think it um, works. Heart this Super Chat. Uh, here's a heart. There you go. Enjoy your hearted Super Chat, Aviga. You can take a screenshot of it. <clears throat> there you go. Big ups, uh, Reaper CH90. So yeah, so basically the membership. some good strategies with, with Lily. Um, there's this strategy where you can lock down someone who has burned out in the corner. What does burnout mean? It means that your drive meter is completely depleted. Nope. People, you train I'm mode. burned out on uh, Street Fighter shit. Out. We're My skipping problem, this. Combos. Oh. As a restreamer, have you sent your goon orders out for his stream yet? <laughs> no, I'm waiting for all my underlings to come with the the information of what has happened on today's stream and what he is playing tonight, so I can decide if I want to send out a hit for his chat. And it's it's killing me, like it's making me lose entire. Man. And if I say the word, you know what happens? Thousands of millions of people swarm his his chat. They make it unusable, and then his audience stops contributing, and then it's a disaster stream. It's literally like Order 66. Matches when I have that combo and I'm not landing. That is true. Like, and uh, here's so a heart I'm orange soda. For me, there you go. Today don't... is a uh, is is the heart heart a thon. Everyone's getting hearts as long as you send a super chat, obviously. <laughs> the optimal combo. Just do an easier combo. Maybe later on down the road if I want to practice. Oh, but you can also send hearts in chat even if you haven't sent anything by clicking the the weird heart button. Hold on, I have it here too. You can actually just hit heart. And emotes are gonna fly in chat. This is the important stuff that YouTube is uh, busy making instead of improving the platform and fixing their content ID and the false DMCA. Meerkat is lurking in the dark, waiting for blabs. I'm always lurking. I'm thinking tonight I might actually do that. Always. Um, and see what happens. So it'll be you know mid-level platinum gameplay with Lily and trying to rank her up just similar to how I played with Zangief the other day same idea with Lily today let's see if I can get up uh, salty tea for the sub online to get make sure to subscribe let's hit the 5k and something nice will happen 
better and to maybe get maybe not for you but for me i'll have 5000 subs for all the way and up. you will be a part of it and you will feel a parasocial relationship to me it's like we're friends in real life except we're not so like five star but you're going to feel like it. let's see if we can do that today then hey, tonight on the late stream it's diamond ranked uh luke gameplay and let's see how i do there so street fighter 6 competition all day this is a diamond today. rank oh, skip yeah. segment yeah Great. wait what did we get weird um Zoom in face. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Granted total five. Hey, there we go. And then we get this. <laughs> oh no, screenshot this. And make somebody um pour uh cherry juice in his mouth. Obviously. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Please admit. What do you think I was gonna say? Wow! Okay, great. That's auto five. Wow, that was yeah. interesting. It's uh, it's gonna be fun. First of all, I haven't played a Grand Theft Auto game in a couple of years. The last one I played was in the collection. Remember the twenty? Okay, that's nice. Let's see what he's t gonna talk about next. So, I'm excited. Now, the one big question: What do I do about the music? That's a great question. You turn it right? off because here's the deal. Here's the deal, you're gonna cry about it anyways. Either when the tips are low, you're gonna cry about how you turned off the music because you guys said so, or when it gets demonetized because you left the music in, and the tips are low, you're gonna cry about it because you guys said so, so you're gonna cry about it anyways. It doesn't really matter if you leave the music on or not. Much like when I played the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, alright? I don't really care about the music being in the game. If I, you know, I I'll, I'll get leave it on, I don't see the problem with that. Well, you cared the back then. Is, if I leave the music on, and then the videos get muted and blocked, what's the point of me playing the game if the streams and the videos are going to get muted and blocked? Right? That's really my main concern here, okay? So, I'm appealing to all of you. How many of you know about how GTA 5 is these days? Is can you play the game what? on YouTube without issue? Is everyone still having music issues with this goddamn game? You know what I mean? Like, I don't care about if I lose ad revenue on some of the videos because it- Dude, you can just turn off the radio station in the car. It's not exactly a, a very big problem. Content ID match. I really don't give two shits. I don't. But I want people to watch the videos. I don't want the videos to be unwatchable or else why am I making the playthrough, right? So if I have to play the game with the music freaking muted, I will. But I don't really want to. I'd rather just make an organic playthrough that feels good. And that <laughs> an I, organic I, I playthrough that people, feels good. <laughs> appreciate that and support the playthrough. You know what I mean? It's like you're making like a smoothie or something. I just want an organic one that feels good. But it's just a, a dude playing video games. But I don't really snorting. know how to go about it. I don't want to have my streams muted and blocked. And I certainly don't want to have my videos muted and blocked. So does anyone know? I'm kind of appealing to you guys. We got about a day and a half to figure this out, um, you know, and, and go from there. I don't really know. I'm a little, I'm a little worried about a little issues, worried, especially particularly if you haven't. Why are you worried? You played all the Grand Theft Auto games multiple times. You should know how this works. At this point, you should know how this works. When we do D DSP, and he's worried again. He's worried every single time. React, um, a lot of the time over there, right in the middle of my stream. It'll say, oh, it detected copywritten content, and now we're going to shut your stream down. Yeah, you're getting like, terminated. So imagine if I'm playing GTA 5. And Exterminated, I'm driving around as the Derek car, would and say. And song is playing on the radio, and that happens. Now, do you think I'm going to notice that? I'm playing the game. I'm not going to notice that it says that there's copywritten music, and then they're going to shut my stream down. Like, you see? So, I don't really I'm see. On the what are we looking what at? Do about this? Unless anyone has suggestions or knows more about it, I really need feedback. If you could... Contact me in some way. Leave a comment on the what? video. Tweet me. Write me an email. If you really GTA Five in the last few years, really if you know anyone who hasn't done a playthrough, if you could relay to me some information about how to do this safely, I want to play this game safely. Really, That's you can't look it up. Guys, but somebody uh, need. But look at the the kind of stuff he's asking people for. If you know a playthrough that played Grand Theft Auto Five, this one specific game with the music on, and it didn't get blocked or copyright claimed. Let me know. What the fuck? You, you can't look it up yourself? As Mike Tyson would say, you have a problem?
turn off your station. There we go. Big ups, uh, Drew Jumpman Gillette. And you're getting a heart. This is a, a very positive stream. We're, we're using all the latest technology, such as giving a super chat a heart. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, is chat frozen on the so screen? Please, yeah, that's uh, how it looks know, like. Feedback required. Hold on. And I would love to start this tomorrow night. That's my plan, is that we're going to start GTA 5. Uh, there you go. There? Big ups. Ken says there's a streamer option in audio settings now. There is, because there didn't. Whoa. Use years ago. Year streamer right here, folks. There you go. Somebody told him there's a streamer mode. And uh, you can actually look that up and see GTA 5 streamer mode. And actually, I don't know if it has it. Yeah, it, apparently it does. Hey, Let's everyone, look this at this. Tim from your Big ups, dude. Uh, he. There you go. Turn this off when you make videos completely. Wait, what does it say? If you're just playing around for fun. Oh, you can turn off the radio station itself. Where? Well, there you go. And then he talks about copyright Something strike. They're not supposed to do like glitches. If you go ahead and create a. I don't know, bro. Uh, apparently you do have it, or maybe you don't, but not my problem anyways. Really? That's cool. Really? Wow, that's, that's really cool, dude. Hold on one second. What is he I doing? I realized something. I'm being pretty stupid. Um. You can check it I'm out? I'm download it now. Oh. I don't know why I didn't. There you go. What the f- I pressed a- Choose edition. We get a nice what gamer face. Game Pass. Whoa, what's the Game Pass? On Game Pass or something. What? What? Huh? Oh my god. Come on, Grandpa. You can't find it. It's a nice gamer face right here. What? This huh? is ridiculously confusing. Why? There's 700 versions of this fucking game. Okay, now that's over-exaggerating. Here it is. Grand Theft Auto V Story Mode, Xbox Series X and S. Okay. Version, and I can install it via Game Pass. This is it. Okay. okay. Good what job, Grandpa. What a mess. I don't know why. Yeah, there's, I'm not even kidding. It literally tells you what the version is and for what platform it is. The one he's playing on right now. Do you? Do you want to see this shit? <laughs> yeah. You're be like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're show me. You're not going to believe this. I'm going to show you. This is stupid as hell. Addicted to your humor. Hey, Big O's, um, here's a heart because I appreciate compliments oh. and now, money. Big O's, uh, Lee Garfield. All right, hold on. Uh... Look okay. at this. Okay. So you get the Xbox One version. Obviously, you're not playing on Xbox One. It says Game Pass on the box, but you're not playing on Xbox One. Correct? Correct. You're not going to be playing Grand Theft Auto Online on Game Pass, so that one is... Just scratch that one out. Then you get the one that says Xbox One and Xbox Series S, X, whatever, and it says Game Pass on it. Sounds sounds like it's the right one to me, right? Sounds like it's correct. And there's also one that says Grand Theft Auto V on Xbox Series X and S, which is probably also the correct one. Hold on, let me get rid of my webcam. So there. This is what you. This is Grand Theft Auto V. Look at this shit. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, but now you're obviously not paying There's attention. Eight versions of Grand Theft Auto V. Okay, but it's extremely easy to find which one you need. <laughs> it says Game Pass on the box, and it says Xbox One and Xbox Series S on the actual title. What is hard about this? How the fuck are you supposed to know which is which? How are you supposed to know? You read and you use your eyes. Unlike Super Blind Man, because... So anyway, I found it. It's down here. It's like down here. It's this one. It says this is story mode Xbox Series S and X. That's what I'm playing. Okay, you could probably play the other one too, because it also has Game Pass and it's for your platform. Like whiskey. Uh, thank you, uh, Swaggy Davis Jr. I appreciate you being my uh, number one enjoyer. Big ups. Uh, I'm going to send you a like. I mean, a yeah. heart. So, what a mess. I mean, that's really confusing. I, I See, I knew it was free because okay. I, just read all, I just read this. I was like, yeah. Because it says Game Pass on it? It be completely free last month on Game Pass. And that's one of the things that actually prompted me to want to play it again is that it's on Game Pass completely for free. Wow, that's so, wild. All right. Is it installing? Is it installing? The fuck? I don't know if it's installing. He doesn't know if it's installing. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, we need to we need to send grandpa in a retirement home it's over for him he's he's gone senile grandpa burnell is finished he's done i don't even think he downloaded yeah he had too many margaritas <laughs> yesterday it's not a piece of junk it's just frustrating when they put things on uh, so many versions it screws so many up. versions There it is. Install. Wow, Wait, that's, that's great. Xbox One. <laughs> Why is the Xbox One? That's not the version I want. Bro, it says it on the fucking. Oh my god, that's what is totally wrong not with the you? The version I want. What happened here? What is going on with this fucking thing? That's the wrong version. That's installing. So cancel. Sure. Uh, okay. Now it won't let me stop. Big ups, uh, big, big ups, doing. Grandpa. You gotta be kidding me. How do I stop? Pause installation. Oh. Addicted to detractor content. <laughs> For real? Are you like, uh, if you don't watch a couple of days of DSP, you're getting like withdrawals and you start like snorting and, and touching your face a lot and like picking your ears and then eating it? That's That must be terrible withdrawals, dude. But uh, I understand why. We're all very chill and fun and everybody has their own spin. On fucking Grandpa Burnell. There. Big ups, uh, Mr. It's Evil. Here is a heart. I went to Game Pass, said I want it, hit install, and nothing happened. Okay. This is how so long? Fun. How long does this keep going on Where for? Is it? it is again. Install. Okay. Then he shows the screen again. Nothing happens. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I hit install. Nothing happens. It doesn't. Nothing install happened. The, the move didn't come out. How the fuck do I play it if it won't? The install? packets are in downloading what i hit install and it just huh? the, the screen closes and it doesn't install the game at all you know the thing is it might actually be an error on xbox's side but him trying to work it out is so hilarious to me he might be completely right so it's fucked up Monkey spank needs to install the base game first dude i i, I have a rant about this as well I already actually had it because I'm downloading the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 and this shit is in like 50 different editions in 50 different components that need to be installed and then updated and then installed again and then deleted and then installed and then installed and you need to keep your console live the whole time. It's fucking ridiculous. But again, I'm not doing this during my podcast. at the top. God. There's another one? Okay, hold on. Thank you, Gaspavelli, who's trying to help. Xbox Series X and S. Gaspavelli is trying to help. It doesn't do anything. I'm serious. I click install. What? What happened? Why is and it not installing? Happens. What? It just closes and doesn't install. <laughs> it's you like a caveman. I'm not lying. Yeah, okay, show me. Just to show you guys I'm not stupid. Wait, wait, you see how stupid this is? Okay. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you're stupid regardless of, of uh, whether or not you can so download go Grand Theft Pass, Auto. All right. Okay. I'm going to search for Grand Theft Auto. So there it is. All right. All right. So here's Xbox One. I don't want this version, but this is... But that's... Viewing Q. Okay, so you have it downloading already. I don't know why it's 186 gigabytes. This is wild, but that's what you get. And in the bundle, it's Grand Theft Auto Online, the GTA 5 Xbox One mode, and the story mode. That is probably for series fucking S and X. Who fucking knows? Uh, big ups for the anonymous $5 tip, zero message. No message. Maybe you do have to install the... Next time, leave a message so I can uh, talk about how smart it is and how much I love Xbox you. Xbox One version? Uh, big ups, Maybe anyways. Maybe you're forced to. Maybe you're forced to install it. Well... It's in the bundle. Right? That's what it says in the bundle. Because here's Xbox. See, it says Grand Theft Auto 5, Xbox okay. X, 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 X. Watch what happens when I hit install. Ready? Nothing. It closes. And then if you go there, it's not downloading it. But y y you got the different edition in the queue already. Same thing down it's, here. It's actually downloading. Story mode. You hit install. Nothing happens. So maybe I need to do this. Viewing queue. Resume all. Yeah, I don't know if the PS5 I think does this. To install the Xbox I haven't one. had any problems with it. I think it's actually what happens is it downloads the Xbox One version. When that's done, 
Then it installs an update that makes it. He has some pretty good uh, download speed, it. though. That's what I'm thinking. Because why else would it not download from anything else? Could have probably had a lot, a lot better download speed if he didn't decide to go with all the, the business class internet bullshit and just went all in on on actual speed. Got some fiber optic, crazy maniac, outrageous amounts of speed. He could probably get it. Right. Right. And he would probably pay yeah. less. Sure seems that way. See, it says Xbox One and Xbox Series bundle. And that's okay. what I'm downloading right now. Correct. See, it says viewing queue. So it's downloading that right now, apparently. So, there you go. That's all I can do. Okay, well, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's, that's the all thing. I can do. There I mean, you go. Hopefully, once that's done, I'll be able to install anything else I need to install. But, but it, that's that's the whole bundle. That's everything you need to install. There's nothing else to install. Just allow me. Well, oh, what really? else do you want? Sly Fox fan says, yeah, GTA Online. You have to actually download GTA Online, and then the story is considered an add-on for GTA Online. So you have to download online first. Oh my God, this is that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But okay. Oh. Been bumping five guys at work. <laughs> Pickups. <laughs> yeah, hopefully on uh, hopefully on on headphones, right? I I really hope so, because it's not a very very much listen to it with other people at work type of song. Because remember the game. Uh, the but the uh, big ups, uh, so Sorta. Anyways, now, big ups. because online made them so much money, they treat it like that's the game. Yeah, yeah. And the story mode's an add-on. Yeah. That's absolutely hilarious. Well, the game has been out since like right. 2013. Everybody's played the story mode okay. like 15,000 so anyway, times, it's dude. It's downloading now. The I online guess. is the only thing See? that's got any kind so of new content whatsoever. First, and then I guess I'll make sure that the other things are installed. All right. Well, that was messy. Anyway, so yeah, we'll start that tomorrow night, but I do need your feedback. I need you guys to help me out to figure out what to do with the music in the playthrough. If I leave it on, I'm down for that. I don't even care if I make ad revenue on the videos, but I am nervous about... You're nervous having the videos get claimed or blocked that's what i don't want to happen have them muted or blocked and same thing with the streams but what what do you mean claim though because when they get claimed they stay up obviously i don't want when they get blocked they don't stay up the streams i hate the way he uses claimed when he's supposed to know what getting copyright claimed means and what getting copyright struck means to get muted or blocked what email uh darkstyphillahotmail.com bboy cycle wants to write me an email about it okay really darkstyphillahotmail.com okay so anyway, we're starting that tomorrow night. All right, that's the late stream tomorrow night, Saturday night. I hope you guys are down for that. That's something new and interesting, right? Now, Sunday is my... I miss the Will Smith goat laugh. Oh, yeah, I, I had that on the um, on, on the soundboard. But now I have the Tommy Wiseau laugh. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Uh, that's what I got. So we're going to do DSP versus the internet I'm on sorry. the stream on Sunday. Hope you'll join me for that. Now, here's the deal. My schedule is changing. You might say, why? All right. Well, there's very good reason. Okay, hold on. Are we still holding on? Let me get to this now. I have to skim through like what? 40 emails that I captured from a cinema. Um, to get to the, the, the stuff. So, here's the what? deal. Okay. Basically, why is he so weird? I, every Sunday night for the last two weeks, we've done a fun community night. Two boy you guys remember. in one day. In thank you. No, really, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's a late night, and I have it free, so I decided let's let's fucking stream. Let's have some fun. Right, six, the community and we are having fun. Big ups, uh, Isaac, for the I contribution. A lot of fun. I wish I could give you a heart, but I can't because it's not a super chat. That's that's weird, man. I hope I, really I hope Susan it. makes it so you can heart super uh, like tips. One. Wow, that would be crazy. Okay, Street Fighter Six is going to be doing maintenance this week. Okay, it's the most casual thing to ever happen to an online game is it's having maintenance, and for him it's like a game changing event. Dude, now we need to shuffle the schedule. So listen up, you fucking idiots. On July twenty third, which is this coming. Yeah, there we go. We skipped this. So, not only will I be using Rashid, the new DLC character, all day long on Monday, but in addition to that, I'm also going to be doing uh, this new, you know, learning this new drive rush mechanic. So, it's going to be an interesting day. I'll be our week long, good variety. So, to recap, today, Lily and Street Fighter 6, and then more the other gaming news going on right now. Okay? And hold on, because now I got to... <laughs> 
Gotta scroll through another 40 emails here. What happened now, dude? Archived emails that I'm gonna use for the machine. Oh, the archived emails. Why don't you categorize them in a certain okay. way? Almost done. Okay, okay dude. News. This is legitimately like the laziest content creator on God. So I already told you about the Street Fighter maintenance that's happening Sunday night. Um, Diablo 4. Are you guys aware that Diablo 4 had their big season 1 update yesterday? Oh, he's gonna be really fucking smug about this. Because people dislike the update and they review bombed it or something. And he made this... Uh, actually, I'm just gonna show you on his channel because he... He's using his channel community page as basically a mirror for his Twitter. So whatever he posts on Twitter, he posts on the community tab. So I can actually show you. And he says this. After so many people telling me I was missing out on season one of Diablo 4 because I decided not to play it. Dot dot dot. Now, it seems the entire gaming community is dumping the game because they rebalanced it. And it apparently sucks. Well, at least I enjoyed the campaign. Shrug emote. Fucking smug. For no reason. He didn't even give a fuck about Diablo. God damn it. In fact, the game has a new icon on my dashboard here. But it's just watch this. Malignant. Whatever that means. Okay? And a lot of people have been asking me, Oh, Phil, are you going to be playing Diablo 4 Season 1? To which I answered, probably not right now. You know, I just played through the entire campaign. What People the want fuck? variety. They don't want the same game over and over. That's why we're, we started with uh, Amnesia the Bunker and beat that over the last week. That's why we're going to be doing GTA 5. You know, I don't think people really want, I'll want take my more heart Diablo down. right now, Me besides the hardcore Diablo fans. Uh, you're going to get your this, heart. When they release Season Here, 1 yesterday. Enjoy this heart. Enjoy it. But uh, hold on, I'm getting a call. They also released a pa balance patch suite. What does that mean? It means that they made sweeping changes to Diablo 4 across the board that apparently nerfed a ton of things in the game that people were using to be powerful and really enjoy the game. I guess the thing is, they were studying data. And they were looking at data and seeing certain people were able to go and fight, what, what's it called, Uber Lilith. I guess if you, if you replay the game a bunch of times, you get to the harder world levels or whatever. And I guess Uber Lilith is the hardest thing in the game. Um... Well, people were, like, beating her easily. Like, super easily. And I guess what Activision Blizzard did is they did oh, research. Oh, this is going to be a hot content, but I'm going to skip it because I'll be right back. Builds of the top players who were just melting her in the game and said, oh, well, these are all overpowered. Where was the TTS for this one? So we're going to basically nerf all hmm. of them. So they did. But New I ASP schedule is going to be 90% drinking. I hope there's going to be like a an interactive margarita segment where he makes a margarita, then drinks it, then makes another one. That would be much better than 99% of everything he's doing. Okay, I'll be back yes, soonish. I did hope. All nerf, I'll be right they back. didn't really do anything to improve the game. They just made the game harder to play. To which people who are playing the game actively are like, why would you do that? I mean, you can understand if you were going to nerf some things and make other things better. They literally just nerfed across the board and made everything less good. So if that's the case, people are like, well, they, you literally just made the game less fun. Who told you to do that, right? We've been playing your game for about a month and a half. We've been eagerly anticipating season one. You launch season one and immediately take away all the things we liked about the game, and we got to start from scratch because you rebalanced the game. What the hell is the point of that? And even, I mean, prominent content creators, even Asmund Gold, who's a ginormous fan of Diablo 4 and criticized me for taking so long to beat the story, has come out publicly slamming these changes. So he doesn't understand it, you know, what the hell's going on, why they did it this way. And basically, a lot of people are very upset about all these changes to Diablo 4. Now listen, I am no expert on Diablo 4, all right? I'm not. So I really don't know if this is something that they've done before or whatever. I have no clue. I'm not in any. I, I'm not some kind of Diablo aficionado. But to me, when you say, this would be like the equivalent of going into Street Fighter 6, all right? And saying we're gonna rebalance the game, but the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make every character worse. We're gonna make everyone's move slower, we're going to make everyone do less damage. And, you know, like, okay, but what about improvements? What about the weaker characters? Could you make them better? What about rebalancing this? No, we're just making everyone worse across the board. Well, isn't that going to take 
Uh, isn't that going to take the fun away? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. To me, I you know, I hear stuff like this, and I'm like, man, I feel like I dodged a bullet. Because, remember, we were on the fence about trying out Season 1. I told you guys, I'm not a super fan of Diablo 4. I think it's a good game. I liked the story, but I definitely wanted to give it a break after I beat the story. And so people were like, well, you absolutely should be playing Season 1. I'm like, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip it for now. Maybe we'll do it later or whatever. But then when I see this, I mean, I'm talking giant community backlash. This isn't like a couple whiny people. This is like, in general, the vast majority of the Diablo 4 community is very upset about these changes, saying this is not the spirit of what, you know, Activision Blizzard should be doing with the game. Like, some people actually compare this back to the days of Diablo 2. They were like, in the days of Diablo 2, when they did balances, which they did... They didn't just nerf the whole game, you know? It would be meaningful changes that everyone in the community kind of agreed to. They would actually take direct community feedback to say, what do you want improved or nerfed or changed? And they would change the game based on that. Here, they literally did data mining, meaning all they did is they looked at the stats of the top players who were beating Uber Lilith over and over easily and said, that's too powerful, just nerf it. And that's it. They didn't ask anyone for feedback. They didn't see what the community wanted. They just made sweeping changes that made the game worse and more annoying for most people. And now they're like, well, why would we want to continue to support this game? Some people have outright said they're dropping the game. So, I don't know. It's a really weird controversy. I don't know why they would have done that. Uh, you know? But, I admittedly feel like I dodged a bullet here. I feel like if I played the game more hardcore, and I said I was going to do the season, I start playing it, and next thing you know, everything's different or changed, you know, and everyone's complaining about it. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe sometimes I inadvertently do the right thing. Bleh. In this, okay, I'm in back. this situation, I might have Sorry for the, the disturbance. Right uh, thing. There was, how, how do we call it, a secret interruption that you guys don't have to know about that happened to me? Uh, that's like personal stuff, and if you ask about it, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Not, I had no idea this was going to happen with the game when season one came out. Oh, and he's th still talking about Diablo. God damn it, I didn't miss anything. But the fact that there was like an overnight <laughs> flip of the switch, and everyone went, wow, Diablo 4. And everyone went, fuck Diablo 4. Wow, whoa. What a total community shift, right? So <laughs> This dude is fucking sick. I, I didn't have uh, plans oh, to play season anyway, but uh, there you go. Okay. Oh, you guys will never know who called. Because um, I, I showed my phone to the camera, and people tried to figure out who I was calling. Doing on with new. These fucking obsessed idiots. A new feature has been added to Game Pass Ultimate. Game this Pass. Let's if go. If you become a subscriber to Game Pass Ultimate, you will receive a 75-day, that's two and a half free months, membership to Crunchyroll Premium. And you wow. can this perk by October Based. 20th. And, uh, and then you get to enjoy anime on demand for like two and a half months. This is something that I may take advantage of. My, okay. my real question is, if I do it, could I use the Crunchyroll subscription like on my TV downstairs? Yeah, why not? Just log in with the same account that you got the premium with. <clears throat> or do I have to watch it through an Xbox console? And I almost get the feeling... Why does that make any sense? Why would you have to watch it through an Xbox console? They give you the premium on your account. Just use your account. You probably will have to watch it through an Xbox console. Why? Which I guess wouldn't be horrible because my wife has an Xbox. Because you get it through Xbox Game Pass, I guess? But it's linked to an account, most probably. I mean, I don't have it, but that's how things usually work. That's in the living room. So we could maybe just watch stuff through there. I'm going to have to bring this up with her and see if she's interested. What? We could just find some animes to watch in the next two months or whatever, and then just get rid of it, because we're not going to subscribe to it. But if it's free, it's free. <laughs> right? So anyway, for those who don't know, uh, if you have Game Pass Ultimate as of right now, okay. you should have two and a half free months of Crunchyroll. You have to activate... Phone call was your boyfriend leaving you. Well, I don't know how you figured it out. You must be one of those obsessed Kiwi farts, but um, it's it's not true. And uh, you're getting your super chat hearted, which in this in, in this way means uh, it's actually a bad thing. It's, like I see it's not right a good now. thing. 
It's the bad thing. Sitting it's on wrong. My dashboard and my Xbox says right there, claim your perk. That's it. So you claim it there, and then I guess I guess you have to figure out the ins and outs of how it works. Okay. I'm you have to watch it through your Xbox console, but maybe not. Why would you have to do that? All right. But uh, just throwing that out Why? there, something to think about. Why? Okay. You got a premium on your Crunchyroll account. Just use that on the TV, and then you can do it. It's like a Netflix account. Cool. Sounds um, like it makes sense. I don't know if it's like that, but that makes the most sense. Also, yesterday uh, began San Diego Comic-Con. Okay. And at Comic Con, there's all kinds of news coming out of this event. In fact, today there's supposed to be a ton of Mortal Kombat One news. Supposedly, there's three different trailers that they're going to release today, plus an insane amount of gameplay and stuff. Oh, that's of hype! Mortal Kombat One. All right. But yesterday was Spider Man Day, and they had their big panel about Spider Man Two, and they revealed a lot of information about it. So here's some things. Okay. The uh, the game. It's set nine to ten months after the original Spider-Man game from PS uh, PS4 slash okay. PS5. Miles Morales and Peter are a weld-oiled machine, meaning they kind of work back and forth with each other. Yeah, that's that's and, what uh, that they're means. Defending New York together. That's kind of the plot. That's they're yeah, that's what that means. Because they they're not the same person, you know. Peter, <laughs> they're not the same. <laughs> is older and he has his life with Mary Jane. <laughs> they're not the same person. Wow. But they're both the Spider-Man. How did the fuck did that make any sense? Miles is a younger teen. Remember, he lost his dad in the first uh, This is what alcohol abuse does to you. And you're going to see this live because I'm abusing alcohol right now. Hell yeah. He's trying to find himself in New York. So it's kind of interesting. They're living their own lives, but they're working together to protect the city. Um, At one point, Miles will be forced to become face-to-face -face with Mr. Negative, the villain who killed his father. Oh, it's DSP. Like Mr. Negative. Kind of and they showed a whole bunch of pictures of Venom. I don't want to, you know, you watch it, look at him yourself. People okay. have opinions. I think he looks fine. A lot of people are, are critical, but some people really like him. The, the big question mark is, who is he? It's been revealed that Venom in this game is not Eddie Brock. Oh, damn. Okay, well, all. I guess we're going to so wait and see. Venom? Remember, at some point, Peter's going to get the symbiote suit and use it in gameplay. But then at one point, he loses the symbiote and it becomes Venom and he has to fight it. But who will Venom be? We don't know. It's a big question mark right now. Who is Venom? Oh, yeah, he's going to face off against Mr. Views. That's we'll right. <laughs> also, it did show... Uh, Mr. Negative and Mr. Views. Uh, was it Norman Osborn? Against uh, Schnozman and Hole Punch. That, that's that's the video game I'm waiting for. It's one of the, uh, the Osborns. I forget it's Harry. It Harry or Norman. Norman is the Green Goblin. Harry is his son. I forgot. Uh, but and in the first game, Harry turns out to be sort of, uh, uh, he's like in a, it's not really a cryo chamber. It's like a, one of the chambers filled with water. I don't know how that's called, but, um, apparently Norman experimented with the symbiote to try and, and, uh, cure Harry of his condition. So I guess it might actually be Harry to be the, uh, venom in this one. Because it, it kind of makes sense, related to the last one. The Osborns is in it. So, basically, we're going to have that whole... Yeah, I guess it's a it's a back to tank. There you go. We learned something today. Green Goblin plot line. The green Goblin. Somewhere in the plot as well. Um, I guess we'll see how that is. Is it Norman Osborn? Is it his dad? Hmm. Well, we'll find out. Anyway... Well, I mean, it, uh, what I what I just said makes sense to me. They teased Venom right at the end of the first game, and Venom was hairy because they tried to cure him. That just See, makes sense. It's kind of interesting. Now, the other thing that that was an but DSP he doesn't remember that shit and he doesn't care about it. Is that they're doing a Spider Man? Your bills, Meerkat rocks. Hey, big ups, uh, Lee Garfield. I appreciate it. And two, console. Yes, they're selling a whole Spider-Man 2 PS5. Okay. That has the Spider-Man branding on the Let's side. Let's actually look at it. Spider-Man branded controller, which is kind of cool, I guess. But I guess the question really at this point is like, who okay. really still needs a PS5? Who doesn't really have one yet? Who's going to go buy it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, PS5 is like the most sought after console. There were people who were lining up for like years to get it. Most people who really, really wanted one have one by now. So I'm kind of wondering, like, like, who actually is going to get this? But for what I'm going to understand, listen to this, I guess you can also just buy the controller and the faceplates. Because, remember, the oh, branded that's, that's console nice. 
is essentially just swapping out the faceplates, which Sony sells official faceplates for PS5 to change the color already. So I guess you could just buy the Spider-Man faceplates and put them on your console too. But I don't know how that works. I don't. I didn't see pricing or anything for it yet. But I think that's what they're saying is that you could buy it separate or you could buy the whole console too. Now that's genius because how many times have I been saying? Boy, are they missing out on a big opportunity. If you remember back in the day, the Xbox 360 PS3 era, dude, they sold and, um, so many... Just to shut the fuck up, DSP. So the limited edition bundle includes a limited edition PS5 console, so you get the Spider-Man style console. Uh, DualSense, that's also obviously limited edition, and you get a digital copy of Mar uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2 Standard Edition. I don't know why they give you a standard, not the, the premium fancy-ass edition with all the cool skins. If they're gonna give you a PlayStation with a Spider-Man skin, but I guess that's uh, that's something. So that's that's what you get. Many uh, art pieces, stickers, ways to customize your console back then. Like you could just go, we would walk into GameStop. Think GameStop. They would have an entire section of customizations for your console: custom faceplate for the Xbox 360, stickers for the Xbox 360, colorings for the Xbox 360, and then the same thing for PS3. Of course, you can't do a faceplate, but you know all that stuff, and that made big money. I'm, those stickers cost like twenty dollars. Do you know how much they probably cost to manufacture? Twenty cents. Okay. So there's insane profits that they, these companies have been missing out on. Because they haven't had a customization on their consoles. It's kind of a... a Look, uh, Rodrigo, I'm not sure if they're making Harry be Venom, but that's what they teased in the end of the first game. So that makes sense for me. Maybe the, the, the symbiote is going to escape and infect somebody else, but that just makes sense. Because Harry was also not present in the whole first game. And spoilers, in the end, they reveal that he's not actually abroad studying or whatever he was doing, but he is actually sick from a, an illness, and his dad put him in a chamber and trying to fix him. They didn't capitalize on that, right? So, to me, this makes sense. Why don't they do this for every major game? Do Sell faceplates for your, your PlayStation to customize your console to be the biggest game out at that point. Especially if the faceplates cost like 20 bucks then that's the same price people were paying for stickers back in the day anyway. So why not do that? I think that's like a, a no-brainer to me of something that they should be doing to make money. And it's very odd to me that a lot of times they don't do, they don't jump on those opportunities. So kind of cool. Uh, speaking of those custom I mean, stuff, the, the Starfield Xbox is also looking great. Starfield uh, Xbox. Let me show you. Because it's very nice. But I do think that buying the whole console is stupid. Like, who's going to buy an entire PS5 branded Spider-Man today? Most people have it already. You know what I mean? Most people already have Spider-Man. Or, excuse me, already have a PS5. They don't need to buy one just to play Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? So that really did, it kind of made me scratch my head. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Okay, so... That is the gaming news <clears throat> that I have for you today. Wow, that was right. a, a day full of gaming news. Okay, now we're just reading emails, apparently. Or just sitting on his phone. That's a great podcast. You know when Joe Rogan okay. looks at his phone and scrolls through emails and says, hold on, hold on? Uh, let's see. Jamie, pull up that email from Machinima. Okay, um, <clears throat> so... That's what I got. And, and then he claps in the mic. Before we get to shout outs and before we get to, you know, Q&A and other things. Thanks. I'm excited for this week. I hope you are too. This is going to be an exciting week of content and fun. Please support the streams if you can. I want to say thank you because a lot of people did engage with my videos uh, when I was off yesterday. What? I appreciated that. I saw a lot of comments on the videos. People were liking the videos. Again, um, engagement is Which key. videos? Right now, it's a... Yeah, we need to fact check on this one. I, I don't trust like that. What is the fact check on this one? Let's go on videos. So let's say the bunker. This one has four comments. Thanks for the playthrough. It was enjoyable to watch and I'm not the biggest Amnesia fan. That's why you found it enjoyable to watch, I guess. Uh, then we got another one that has five comments. This is great. Keep up the good work, Phil. I'm honestly surprised to still see Phil pumping out content. That's, that's super positive. Phil asked me to leave this comment to cheat the YouTube algorithm, so I'm here. This is an actual DSP comment. You can actually see it here. Look at this. By at Nathan Irwin 01. 
Psycheo Gaming one. Phil asked me to leave this comment to cheat the YouTube algorithm, so here I am, and it has 7 likes because it's a super positive DSP comment. Very nice. It's working, you guys. It's working. That's why he's thanking you. It's a slower summer with not a lot of new hot game releases. <clears throat> so for you guys to like the content and leave comments on it helps me a ton for engagement. Please continue to do that if you're liking all the content. And thank you for supporting. Remember, all the different ways you can support this channel. For example... Uh, let's see. Leaving a comment. Leaving a like. Uh, super chat, super stickers, tips, membership, probably gifted membership. Bucks, or tip. So probably 70 for SM. Uh, yeah, it, it's possible. I haven't seen the prices, but it, it it's entirely possible. Liking the stream. Okay, Liking the stream. On a stream. That helps for engagement, okay? A super chat or a super sticker. A membership or gifted membership to the community. Wow, to the community. Today, we, in particular today. A lot he says this every day. In particular today. People on the stream who normally would not be because it's competitive Street Fighter. People really what? like that. And uh, <clears throat> it sure would be great. If we could get some memberships today, whether sure new would or be gifted, great. Um, I'll set a, a very reasonable, humble membership goal of 530 members today, considering humble. I'm playing Street Fighter all day. Hopefully, we can get six new members by the end of the day. Okay, so thank you for that. And of course, tips. Tips help a ton. Tips go to bills. Tips Let's to actually go to the new and improved pickpickgo.re and uh, look up would be great. Because I think would be great coin is skyrocketing. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. 2021, 2022, 2023 has been a massive and super positive time for DSP gaming when it comes to the phrase would be great because it sure would be great. Any further support would be great. Greatly, I guess greatly appreciated. Regards in my anniversary would be great. A lot of things would be great, I guess. I knew things, tips keep my 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 business liquid essentially and i really appreciate <laughs> tips keep his business liquid what the fuck does that even mean tips keep my business liquid you tip the streams as well all right so thank you so very much and uh what all right so all that being said thank you for your support in advance <laughs> they keep let's my business liquid let's, let's get the shout outs how does that sound <laughs> so it's like diarrhea basically <laughs> Hopefully that sounds good. <laughs> I'm sorry for the, the scat man segment. Scat man. Skeet bop 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 bop. All right, let's jump in. So first of all, Parasolo re-upped his membership for 26 months this morning. He says, cheers to the freaking weekend, says Rihanna. Well, Rihanna okay, says big a lot ups. of things. What? I'll say huzzah to that one. Thank you very much, Parasolo, for the membership. Um, Zway became a genuinely new member this morning. And that one actually Who does Zway? count our members count for the, the day. So thank you for that, Zway. It wasn't just a re-upping. And then Zway also did a $5 Zway. super chat and says, Hey, I actually played you when you first started viewer matches for Street Fighter Six. So that would have been two weeks ago, roughly. And he says, I was the Diamond Kimberly. Oh, uh, I, I recall. It'd be great if you could say my name. <laughs> I could say your name, Stephanie, but I won't. Because uh, I'm a damn dirty detractor. But I'm gonna like your super chat. I'm gonna give you a heart. And Kimberly kicking my ass. Because you earned it. My butt. Because Kim for some reason, Kimberly and Diamond is kind of fooling me. Like, I, I don't really know what to do against her. So oh, no. This is Zwei. This is actual German. But it's, uh, I guess it's Zwei in uh, Italian-American. She just stays neutral. Zwei. Like, some safe stuff. Zwei. I had a lot of problems with her with uh, Zeng. Dude, no. I couldn't figure her out. Come on. Anyway, um, He says... Uh, now I'm at master level. Congratulations. Congrats on getting your Kimberly to master. It takes a lot of effort work and a lot of time investment. Like I said, I'd love to get there with Blanca, but I have to keep playing with him. And <laughs> considering the fact that I'm using variety of characters, it takes a lot longer. Um, it was fun playing with you. I saw your Geek gameplay too. I hope you liked it. Again, and it gets a Silvano thumb out of 10. With, uh, with Geek against Kimberly right now. But I'm sure, again, the more experience I get, I'm sure I'll figure it out Zway. right now. I'm just kind of limited with what I know about that matchup. <laughs> So I'm getting kind of hosed. In that <laughs> this regard. dude is great. Uh, thank you, Zway. Thank you. He's he's uh, unironically just dropping bangers left and right and doesn't even know it. For the super chat and congrats on hit master. He doesn't All even right. know it. Um, that's what we got on the YouTube <laughs> side of so far today. Uh, on the tip side of things, let's get started here. An overnight tip from Game Trekker. I'm sure that you guys. Oh are no! Very this shot. is getting fucking skipped. Fuck you, Game Trekker. You stupid bitch. This is getting skipped. An honorable skip. Okay. 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 
So good stuff. Now let's see what Game Tracker has to say. Oh no, we haven't even got to that. We that getting fucking skipped. Tips. Fuck you, Game Tracker, and your stupid fucking tips. The way he's hijacking just multiple minutes of this podcast every single day by talking about stupid Street Fighter stuff only DSP cares about. And he doesn't even care about it, he just pretends like he does. Because the dude sent him like 30 bucks. And now we're just, we're just zoning out. What is he doing? Checking PayPal, so checking the emails? Updated. The app? What? <laughs> Wait, I need the context for this. No context, just dead air. In the Game Pass app and install the Game there, Pass right? app. Instead of doing that, I do have the Game Pass app on my phone, but I was. Oh no! Use it. I've totally forgot about Game Pass app on my phone, actually. Yes, yeah, the Game Pass app. Now we're getting a scrolling through Game Pass app segment. This is like a minute straight of just looking at his phone. It's even more than a minute. This dude sucks, man. There's vacuum cleaner companies that are mystified by how much he fucking sucks. They wish they could figure out that technology so they can be first in the vacuum cleaner rankings. Says you're good to go. But they can't. They can't figure it out. It's a natural. Natural suckage. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay. It's enabled it on my console and it still doesn't work. So fuck this. <laughs> That's why I don't use the app. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> the, uh, this console had it all synced with the app like a year ago. And for some reason, at some point, it desynced, which I didn't do. It just desynced itself. Probably when the app updated or something. And now it won't sync. The app won't sync to my console anymore. So I can't remote install anything. Uh, well, I have to say the PlayStation the app right? worked just fine. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so You can even delete stuff, which uh, is pretty interesting. All right, so thanks for the dollar tip, whoever that was. Well, yeah, it thanks. Nice the technology worked, it doesn't. It it's a worthless point, tip. And now it doesn't work anymore, and I just enabled... It said that all the the, the remote stuff was disabled. I just enabled so far. Continue to try to learn more in Street Fighter. No, Microsoft no, no. Spin-off style not. game. What? Do I have any thoughts on Remnant 2? No. No. I never played the first one. I have no desire to. It's another FromSoft spin-off style game. FromSoft spin-off style game. He could have just said a Souls-like. That plays similar and I don't- FromSoft spin-off style game. Yeah. Not even a spin-off on any of their franchise, right, Jackson, but you know, he just tries to sound smart. I ordered Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition, I'll probably get the controller as well. Cool. Controller looks good. Admittedly, I like the Spider-Man controller. Looks pretty nice, pretty stylish. If you like Spider-Man, if you need a new controller, why wouldn't you get the Spider-Man controller, right? I don't know. Maybe. Did I ever pet a hippopotamus? No. I don't know. Yes, Jay, Lily, and Luke today. Those are the characters I'll be using, and then Rashid on Monday. Am I going to embrace the powers of the wind? Well, remember, the wind and the spirit. Only I can hear it. Oh, yeah. He's, he's very familiar with the spirit. In the forms of margaritas, gin and tonic, rum and coke. He knows all the spirit. I'm talking to someone. I'm talking to the wind spirit. I'm not... Yeah. Just so the, you know. the wind spirit. Okay. Canadian Kirk says, I saw Mission Impossible 7 yesterday. It was pretty good. Especially enjoyed the second half. Oh, yeah? It's crazy that there's seven of these movies. Like I said, I saw, I've seen like two. Why is it crazy? It's crazy for these insanely long movie franchises. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Chocula says, if you do more horror, what games are at the top of your list? I have no idea because I don't know what horror games I haven't played. Big ups, uh, Klaus so Mystery. 14 Clock months, dude. Announced that. I'd like to remake it's like more than a year. <clears throat> 15 of those more, and we're going to hit the DSP uh, career uh, anniversary type of thing. Oh, I, I ride wow. alligators every day, Radical Jaws. That's how I get around my what? house. I ride an alligator around my house. I don't know if you knew that. The way he gets irritated by stupid questions during his stupid daily Q&A. Like, what, what else are you supposed to ask this guy? He's been asked everything that you could possibly ask him, including hot questions such as, What are you having for dinner? What did you have for breakfast? Did you take a shower today? Is this shirt new? Pickle Man, yes, I'm aware the Borderlands movie has a release date. I believe it's October 2024. Um, I don't know about the movie, as we've talked about when the casting was announced. 
You got people like Jamie Lee Curtis and Jack Black and other people in Bro, it. Oh, he's so excited that he's popping zits on his hand. He's so engaged in the podcast. Phil, the camera's on. Stop doing this. Uh, Clay Blanchett, I think. And no, like, stop. Stop listen, doing this. This is fucking nasty. Actor and actress in the movie sounds is he going to taste great it? People. But how long before that the left hand ends up in his mouth? Are they really going to fit the spirit of Borderlands? Borderlands is a wild apocalyptic gore fest. Okay. Go around murdering people left Murder. right, up, down. And are they going to just turn it into a, a comedy? Because that's not the spirit of Borderlands. What? What? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's uh, Borderlands is not a comedy. The, the, I, we haven't heard a plot or anything for it yet. But based on who they're putting, he's in the still movie, picking I don't on it. Know. I'm kind of skeptical. I guess we'll see. Cool. Chef Boyardee says I got custom plates on my PS5 Lexus white color. That's cool. Wow, that's that's cool, dude. Let's see here. Wow. What are we seeing here? Are we banning somebody? Uh, so yes. says there's a massive rumor Luke is Captain Commander. Captain Commando? What? What? Who is Luke? Jade says for his birthday, he went to a comic book store. Cool. Cool. Another regular bookstore. Cool. <laughs> Target and chilled at home for most of the day. That's nice. Any anything, any special food or, uh, dude. or anything? Just curious. Just well, curious. Had a good day. If it's too personal, you don't have to answer, but did you have a, a cake for your birthday? I'm sorry for the personal uh, question. Let's see here. Which Elder Scrolls game is best? Uh, I don't know. I really, I obviously Skyrim is the one, the first one that I played majorly, and I love it. You know. Which one do you love the most? You, come on, you you played all of them in the last like three to four years. You've played the all of the the meaningful Elder Scrolls games. I you don't know which one is your favorite. Their prices. Uh, to say Skyrim. Thirteen ninety nine for new users. Even day one members like myself who have been paying seven ninety nine all these years will have to pay thirteen ninety nine. Excuse December, me. Correct. Everyone's getting their prices raised. For me, uh, I think I was, I want to say I was paying $11.99 and now mine's going up to $13.99 a month. So YouTube premium is going up by $2 a month. Um, wow. For me, the new Susan fucking sucks. It's essential for business. Like, How? I wouldn't even be able to what? do my react show without it. Because if, if we were trying to watch those videos back and there was ads playing, like, what the fuck? We'd never get through anything, right? So It's I, essential for I business. It. It's a business expense, basically. For my business, it's kind of a it needs essential it. thing. For people who are <clears throat> not into business and are using YouTube Premium, uh, most uh, humans just put ad block and they watch it on PC. Nobody does reaction videos on their Xbox. That's for Grandpass. Grand Grandpass? Uh, is that like Game Pass? Uh, for Grandpas. Is the two dollars extra a month worth it? Well, I mean, what are the features of YouTube Premium? Well, think about it. No ads at all on the site anywhere. Okay, ad block is free. Able to download videos ahead of time and watch them when you have no internet connection or bad internet connection. Uh, you can do that through a third-party site. It's really not that hard. You can do that on mobile through uh, New Pipe. Being able to minimize the, the app. Uh, YouTube revanced on on mobile. That's what it does. And just play it in a, in a playlist style. Yep. No matter what videos you're watching or music okay. you're listening to. Free. Uh, access to YouTube music. Um, YouTube revanced on on Android. It's free. Which is, I guess, their own music. If you got PC, just get Adblock. App and stuff. Um, and I forget because there's more than that. But that's the stuff that I I I use it for no ads, and I use it for the playlists. Like there's times when I'll be doing one thing and I minimize it, and I listen to music while I'm doing something else. Okay. Okay. So the one of the things a lot of people don't realize about YouTube Premium is that it helps creators. So if you have a creator, oh, you there watch you their go. content all the time. This why you're. This why he's shilling it, because he gets a penny from everybody using YouTube Premium, and every penny matters. If you have YouTube Premium and you watch their content, they get paid for ads, even though you're not watching them. Yeah. So right now, if you're watching this stream and you have YouTube Premium, I'm getting paid for your views. Well, uh, I'm watching with AdBlock, so you can get paid to suck a dog off. Thank you. You're That's welcome. Awesome of you. That'll yeah, I know. Suck a dog make some money on the back end. Even though you're not actively watching ads, it's as if you are. See, that's cool. Nope. So not really. Yeah, I, I, there's definitely value. It's about you know it's going to basically be people have to judge for themselves if you think the two dollar price increase is worth it. You know what else the price is going up for? Game Pass Ultimate. You know what else the price has gone up for? Literally everything. 
It's inflation, dumbass. That's also going up by a few bucks. I think it's like three dollars a month extra. And again, for me, the Game Pass value is there. I mean, I just played Amnesia. I'm going to be playing Starfield next month. I'm sure I'm going to probably... Oh, I'm playing GTA V right now. I'm going to be playing, right? So, I mean, yeah, for me, the value is definitely there. But, um, you know, I guess the, the real question is, is it for everyone? I, I don't know, right? What? Are, are we really doing this during the podcast? Just a random fucking around segment. Oh, I just want to see if uh, GTA 5 is on Game Pass so for everybody. GTA 5 is installed on my Xbox Series X, and apparently it is the Series X version. Okay. I don't know, because I'm hitting install, and it's not doing anything on those versions. But I installed the Xbox One and Xbox Series X bundle, which apparently has all of it included. This dude is inhumanely slow. And that's showing on my console so he's I, making snails blush based on how fucking slow he is i don't know if i boot this if it's gonna have the right version or not sloths all over the globe are getting embarrassed looking at this dude sense. it's really stupid like how does he do that what it looks like you're forced to download the xbox one version which i have and then after that i have no idea i literally have no idea if i have the better version or not I have no idea either. He's gonna uh, accidentally download the fucking uh, Nintendo version. Somehow, because it's Dark Side Phil. I don't know. Somehow he's gonna manage. Well, we're, playing so we're either playing the Xbox One version or the Series X version tomorrow. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, because this doesn't clarify. Uh, that's the only one that. It yeah, it does fucking clarify. It says the Xbox One and Series X version. If you got a Series X, guess what version you're gonna be playing, dumbass? It doesn't allow me to download. Thank you, time. Thank you all. Here's to a great new streaming week coming up. Wait, that's it? New variety this week. What? Right? With a new character in Street Fighter 6. We're done? GTA 5. No, First come on. We need some years. more. It's going to be a good week. Hope that you guys will. And then we get this photo. This is his fucking end of the stream slideshow. First of all, we get weird. You can see it's kind of a PNG because the background of the photo is black. But he didn't insert it properly, so it's not really transparent when it's supposed to be transparent, right? So you can see when it says Ryu and Ken, and above them it should be the DSP and the cross-dressing DSP. And it should be without a background. But he's fucking stupid, so it has a black background instead. Coming up, good variety this week, right? With a new character. Then we got the next one is again, the DSP and cross-dressing DSP. This one is... is Without a background, but it's also cropped really weirdly. Instead of like fading out or something. Whoever made this is, I mean, I appreciate the effort, but it's bad. Years. It's gonna be a good. And then we get this. We get the Daniel Craig with the DSP's face on him, and we get the mugshot DSP face. They could have found a much better DSP face than this. Come on, there is at least one that is better. We. Hope that you guys at will, least uh, one swing by and enjoy. I'm thinking something for everyone this week. But anyway, thanks for watching the show. See you all tomorrow. Yeah, you're welcome. Peace out. But you, you guys are seeing right now what I downloaded. That's GTA okay. 5, but it says it's the Xbox One version. Why don't you just play it? Just turn it on. That's the only version that will even download onto the console. Version, I guess. I guess uh, Rockstar fucked up. I guess we're playing that version. I, I guess so. Yeah, I well, you screwed. Difference between that and the Series X version, but when I go to download the one that's a Series X, <laughs> nothing happens. Oh, Just man. So fuck it, but I do need your guys' guidance on the music, okay? Again, what? if you know anyone who's played GTA 5... But you do this every time, just recently. just decide. And if you know if they have any issues with the You know every single Grand Theft Auto has licensed music in it. You know that they get claimed. You know that sometimes they get blocked. What? conclusion are you gonna draw from this or whatever i'd really appreciate your feedback on that okay no and, you guys decide right, so dude you guys I wanted it to be no break. music for me why are you not supporting room. all right but and I'm we gotta piss and then you get falcon punch for like 15 minutes straight while he pretends like he's pissing while he's just going around the house and looking at what his wife is playing and petting jasper I can imagine him, like, the stream is on and is playing music and he's just downstairs like, What are you doing, Jasper, kitty? Uh, Jasper, you so silly. Uh, okay, well, I guess I gotta go back to stream now, Jasper, kitty. Okay, you, you, you have fun here, okay? Okay, buddy. Well, everybody on stream is like 300 people just sitting there listening to this.
to this. This. It's not even a song about having sex with his wife, like some other people do. Really neat that they designed it like that, and I might. But it's not even him having sex with his wife, so it fucking sucks. Uh, is he still live? Oh no, he's clocking out. I just punched my microphone. Great. And he punched his mic. Uh, did he beg? That's the big question. He's at uh, sixty-two dollars thirty from Game Tracker. Sixty something. So at best that was sixty something. And uh, he won his last game two nil. Wow. Surprised it was like fifty seven or something, but it was good. I mean, the good news is I'm winning way more than I'm losing. I'm definitely ranking these characters up. All right. He's definitely so going places. It's time, it's time for me to upload. It's time for me to eat. I am a starving. Wow, all he's right? starving, when Marvin. I come back tonight, I'm gonna try Luke. All right, for two hours. I don't know how it's gonna go. I didn't actually watch any new Luke videos last night. I couldn't really find any. Um. So I'm just going to try to be solid with Luke. Just try to play, you know, my solid game and see what I can do. See if I can do a different combo rather than the wall bounce because the wall bounce doesn't seem to work well for me. Uh, and go from there. But thank you for watching. I will hopefully see you all tonight. He couldn't find any Luke videos. First thing you see is Street Fighter 6 Daigo Ken versus Bonchan Luke in Street Fighter 6. Also, we get Luke Complete Character Guide Tips and Tricks. Luke Combo Video. Luke combo video slash guide. Bon Chan Luke Street Fighter 6. Learn Luke in three minutes. Street Fighter 6 character guides and combos. He couldn't find any of these. Those were all hidden from the evil matrix that is trying to screw him over. Right. The detractors hid those. For Luke. All right. Thank you all. Enjoy the break. Thank you. Peace out. Yeah. See you later. Enjoy the break. Pacific time, by the way. See yeah. Come day. back. Ooh, I just punched my microphone. Great. Okay. See you then, guys. Oh, and one final burp into the mic before we clock out. That's fucking spectacular. Is there any good salt? Good parry. All right, that's awesome. But you know what? Uh, I, I actually want to watch the DSP vet uh, segment because I didn't watch this today. And I didn't watch this yesterday. So let's see DSP vet uh Jasper. I don't know. I don't know what to look up. Uh the the disaster vet visit. I'm I'm sure this is a banger by uh, Dick Stroke and Phil Vlogs, but it's cut out of context like all the dirty detractors do. So I want the actual raw and pure content as provided by the one and only the Aqua Teal. Uh or as uh, a certain person calls it Aqua Teeth. Or Dill Pickle. No, Dill Pickle was somebody else. But, uh, I don't know. Talk about my wife. Please. Please. Sure. And I need another beer. Uh, outside of that, we did a few other things. It's, a, you know, neither here nor there. The one thing that I want to talk about is this vet visit, alright? I'm pretty upset. Let's explain what happened, alright? So, for the record, Jasper Kitty is not sick, alright? He's perfectly healthy. He has nothing wrong with him at all right now. He was going in for his yearly checkup, and he was going in to get his rabies vaccine follow-up, okay? Now, I don't know how the rabies vaccine works. That's on the doctor to explain it to you, right? But I was under the understanding that he was going to probably need his rabies vaccine follow-up, but we had scheduled him just for a checkup, and we figured while we're there, we'll get everything done, right? So, <clears throat> here's the thing, all right? We've taken Jasper to this vet for three straight years. The first year, they were still at the end of COVID. So back then, everyone was still wearing masks here in Washington State, and you couldn't go in anywhere. It was like, oh, God. It's like everyone has to have a fucking hazmat suit on. So, you, you know, oh, my goodness, here's Jasper. Oh, sorry, sir, you can't go back there with him. We'll take him into our sterile room, and we'll, vet, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, examine him ourselves. Okay, and we'll tell well, you the findings. It was like, that were the regulations. It's not really their fault. They were just following the rules. What the hell is this? You know, stupid COVID was so Yeah, bad. I mean... I I mean, dude, come on. People were dying, and they couldn't have their relatives there with them as they died. And you're talking about fucking Jasper Kitty. And everyone was so afraid. Come yeah, on. Washington was one of the worst. We were like some of the worst afraid states there were. Okay. So you couldn't do anything, right? Now, the good news is last year, all right, all that was finally over with. No more masks. No more being afraid. So last year, we took Jasper to this same vet in the summer. We were allowed... To go into the exam room with him and here's the thing about jasper okay jasper kitty absolutely hates being in the carrier whenever he's in okay. that carrier, well he's a fucking cat 
uh, and and sometimes you need to take the cat and put it in the place where the cat should be, and you don't really ask him for his opinion. He's very upset and nervous. If he's okay. Car, he's panting and he's meowing. He's is he dying? He hates the carrier for some reason. Jasper Kitty dying in the carrier for cats? So why? I don't know if he had a tremendous. Wow, cats like uh, cats dislike being put in a cage. You guys, breaking news. Traumatic experience in his past. It's traumatic he experience. When he's out of the carrier, he is perfectly fine. So to give you an example, last year. They allowed us into an exam room, so we opened the carrier. He comes out in the exam room. He's having a blast. He's wow. on the desk. He's jumping all around. He's twerking. He's, fun. He he's Fortnite dancing. His last year, because we, the, you know, for the first time since COVID ended, you could go in the exam room. He was afraid, or allowed to run around, have free reign. Had a great time. Okay, and it was great. So I remember last year, the vet examined him, explained everything that the vet had found. They said he was a little bit on the overweight side. We need to cut down on his food, which we've done in the last year. All right, the good news is he lost some weight in this last year. Hey, Jasper was fat like cat. If only there was somebody to tell cat that advice. You know, and a few other observations, you know, you know whatever. That was great. Okay. And by the way, um, it was quick. Like, I remember last year, we basically waited in the waiting room maybe 10 minutes, got right into our our room, our, our, our exam room, that was maybe like a 10 minute wait. Vet came in, exam, done. We were out within like 40 minutes. The whole visit was done. It was awesome and we were on with our day, okay? So here's what happens this year, okay? No, oh, he's already so, pulling the, the smug fucking snake lab. This is about to be a doozy. I know, you already know what, what's gonna happen. You already know. He's gonna complain about everything. You already know. It's you already so know. We waited in there not for 10 minutes. No, not for 15 minutes. Did we wait for 20 minutes? Uh, no. We waited for 25 minutes. It's bullshit rigmarole, right? You ready for this? Okay. We show up early. Okay. We actually showed up 15 minutes early because we were hoping that if we showed up early, Maybe we could get in exactly when our appointment was. That's and not how it works in any kind of medical facility on the planet. We could get out early to do nope. the rest of the stuff we needed to do during the day. No. We had a very busy day plan. Nope. So, first of all, we show up early. Okay? And I'm not kidding you. This is what they tell us at the front desk. Oh, you're early? Well, we can't check you in until it's time for your appointment. Okay. Was there anybody inside? Were they checking up somebody else who was before you? Because, like, if you go to the dentist early and there's somebody inside, they can't really tell them, get the fuck up. Phil Burnell is here. They need to get their job done. And it might even take later than your actual appointment because that's how medical facilities work. What? What? Yeah, we're not allowed to check you in until it's time exactly for your appointment. So, you're just stuck. You came for no reason. Just sit here in the lobby. Was there anybody inside, though? That's the big question. Great. Well, Jasper hates being in this carrier. and now Nobody asked fucking Jasper. Jasper is a cat. Now he's stuck in the carrier for extra time. Okay. They don't care that we're there early. They just... Oh, just wait. Prince right. Jasper. So, we wait. And then when it's time for our appointment, we check in. Okay. We then wait in the lobby for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So apparently they weren't ready regardless. Wait, uh, uh, th th so they were in the lobby and then they checked in and then they were taken to the lobby or the waiting room or whatever. So it actually doesn't matter. Then, they could have just gone there on time for their appointment. A tech comes out. Okay. And the tech comes out and says, oh, you were early. I swear to God, this is what the tech says. She goes, oh, you were early. Well, the vet is late. Uh... Uh, still on lunch. <laughs> okay. Stutters her words, like cuts herself off and changes what she was saying mid-sentence. Uh, still at lunch. So obviously, the tech inadvertently admitted to us that the vet was late for work. Okay, yeah, well, it, it's not really stuttering or getting it wrong. The dude was still at lunch, and he's late for coming back. I guess, yeah. But uh, I guess we can criticize him for being late from lunch. Okay. That's that's his mistake. He got busted. So can't so we can't get you in yet. You have to wait in the lobby. How dare you have fucking lunch? That is back from lunch. Okay. We'll let you we'll let you in. But our appointment is at this time and the vet's not here. Okay? So what is going on? Now in the meantime, 
other people are coming in with their pets. And dude, uh, as always, it makes me think of those people that are completely oblivious that this guy was going to tell this entire story to the internet. So this vet had no idea that this motherfucker with a stupid ass cat was going to go home and vent about it on the internet. And then somebody would watch this and vent about that on the internet. There's layers to this shit. There was someone who came in with two chihuahuas. They were let in within five minutes. <laughs> and you could hear the doctor over there. The chihuahua privilege. Dealing with the chihuahuas. Having a great this time. This is not room. fair. Another person comes in with a cat and a carrier. They're allowed right into an exam room. It's only us that are stuck in this lobby. No. Waiting. With no. Jasper and his carrier, now if you add up the time... Chihuahua world order. It's been over a half an hour he's sitting here in his carrier <laughs> in the lobby, and we're not even allowed in yet. Okay. So finally, you know, the tech is there. I'm they like, were having a great time. <laughs> How long are we going to wait? What is going on? They were having margaritas and wearing party hats. It was so fun. So says, oh, and Jasper was sitting in the fucking holder. All right, we're going to take him in. The tech takes, the ca takes Jasper in, but not us. What? What? How dare they? So now Jasper's in there by himself. What if he assaults Jasper? In the room and we're not allowed to come in. <laughs> Why not? I don't know, bro. The people with I, I don't know. And uh, you know, the thing is, like every DSP Karen story, it might be the actual vet's fault. The vet might be the biggest fucking asshole ever. But let me tell you something, brother. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy than Phil. Let me tell you something, brother. The chihuahuas are in the room. I'm fucking happy it happened to him. Maybe the vet is like the biggest piece of shit fucking moron idiot degenerate criminal, right? But I'm I'm still fucking happy that it happened to DSP and he's whining about it on the internet. Maybe DSP is a thousand percent right. I'm still happy it happened to him. Like with a fucking Burger King sandwich, like with a FedEx, like with an Amazon Prime package that the dude tried to steal allegedly. It might have actually been 100% true, but I'm still happy it happened to the best fucking dude ever, Dark Side Phil. The, the woman with the other cat just went into the room. What? Why can't we go in? No, you stay in the lobby. <laughs> okay? All right. So they take Jasper in. Five minutes. I'm not kidding. I timed it. Five minutes. After five minutes, they take Jasper back out and hand it back to us in the carrier. And I'm like... Did you do anything? Did you examine? Don't worry. The vet will be right with you. We no, no. Another 20 minutes. So now Jasper has been in his carrier over an hour. Oh, no. He's getting depressed. He's starting to cut himself with his back claws because the front ones are not available for obvious reasons. You guys all know. Clear if they examined him or not. We don't know what happened yet. Jasper okay? is starting to listen to Nine Inch Nails and crying about his being gone. So now we've been there an hour. Finally, a, a, a woman who they... Oh, I'm the vet. You should have seen this woman. All right? She comes out, first of all. <laughs> everyone else that's working there... What is she, their, fat? ...their, like, uh, nurse slash tech garb on. So you tech can, garb. You can tell the, vet, <laughs> says the name of the vet. This woman comes out in gray sweat clothes. Okay. It looks like she literally just came in off the street. What if she came off from lunch? Maybe from jogging. I'm not sure. <laughs> Her hair, you can literally tell... She was late for work because her hair is dripping wet. You could tell what happened is she came in and just quickly brushed or combed her combed her with water before she came out to the lobby. It Who the fuck does that? It literally had just been combed because it was wet as shit, right? So she comes out not dressed for work with wet hair. Okay. He made up an entire scenario just to make that woman look bad. So what if she was Italian and she had greasy hair? What are you, fucking racist towards your own kind? Uh, uh, is that Jasper? Wait, wait, what? You're the vet. Didn't you just examine him? Oh, is that Jasper? Okay, so here's what we found. He's so mad about okay. this. This is so ridiculous. Okay. Everybody else, that wouldn't even be like a, a dinner time discussion on the table. That would be like a completely garbage fucking story to anybody else but Dark Side Phil. For him, it's prime time. So here, here's you guys have to hear about this. Listen up. Her hair was wet. What the vet says. First of all, well, did he? Has he and then everybody is like, "Oh, we got another one." Blood work. Oh, and I'm oh, like, oh. "You work here. He's been here for three years. You don't know if he's had blood work yet." 
So I said, no, he hasn't had blood work. He's never had a reason to have blood work. He's I never had a serious illness or whatever. So, you well, know, he had a UTI once. You know, he never had that. You know, so he's he's here for his exam and his rabies vaccine, right? So they said, okay, well, you know, uh, we think he should have blood work. Why? Well, you know, it's a routine thing for these cats. Every few years, they should have blood work. It's a way to check for diseases. But what? Wait, wait. Bro, you told her. Yeah, I don't think my cat has ever had blood work. And then she was like, you know what? We should, we should probably get her some blood work done. So we can know that, you know, he's all good. Since he hasn't had any kind of blood work done before. Way to check for this or that. I'm like, all right, so let's talk. Let's be real here. Let's talk cough. And this is fucking... He treats Jasper. He calls him his non-human son. That's what he fucking calls him. And he doesn't even want to get his blood work done to see if it's all good. When he's never had blood work done on his cat. And then the fucking... The, the, the vet is like, hey, you, you don't want to do it? Just just to see? No, they're trying to fucking scam me. What do, what do I owe you now? And what am I going to owe you if we have blood work? Okay? So he goes, well... For the exam and the rabies vaccine today, it's $109. Oh, no. He's so deluded. That's like a day stream. For comfort, not generally suits and such. Especially animals. You want some padding for claws. Uh, you, you're obviously wrong. They dress in a typical, um, medical style garb. There you go. The debunked. I'm okay. sorry. That's just the dress code. You put on your garb. And uh, you go and you perform. But if we do the blood Get your ass out there and do blood work, bitch. Work. It's four hundred and fifty dollars. What? 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 That's a scam. Like, four hundred and fifty dollars. But there's nothing wrong with him. Why do I want you to do three hundred fifty dollar blood test? It's preventative, right? But this vet is actually because you've never done a blood test. Maybe you got fucking I don't know blood disease something. Like like hard selling me. On getting this blood test. Like, there's, he's not sick. <laughs> you know? And she kept pushing it. She's like, no, really, I'm telling you, I'm recommending as the, you should do. I was like, we're not doing the blood test. We're not right? doing the fucking blood test, I, bitch. This is ridiculous. Like, we're not doing this blood test. Should have called her a bitch. Here for one thing, this is absolutely ridiculous. So, by the way, at this point, we don't even know if he received his vaccine or anything. This vet told us nothing. So the vet says, all right, well, I'll be back and goes into the back and disappears. I shit you not for another <laughs> 20 minutes. What? 20 minutes. Well, she was finishing up her lunch. Come on. You interrupted her lunch with your stupid ass fucking Jasper kitty who has nothing wrong with him. And then you didn't even want to get the blood work done. Obviously, she's just going to go back inside and just Fortnite dance for like half an hour. He'll blame the vet. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm not going to give a heart to this one. If he is genuinely mad about paying so much to take care of a cat, should have just dropped the $80 for the bill. Real talk. Right? But it, it, is it $80? Because, uh, like, uh, naturally, he talks about Jasper like it's his actual son. Like, him and Cat, they loved each other so much that they conceived Jasper. And he was like a miracle to the whole family. And they all love him. And they kiss him goodnight as they tuck him into his fucking bed. And they lock him in the bedroom. And then it's like, hey, you want to do blood work to see if it's all good? No, you're fucking trying to scam me, fucking idiot. Big ups, uh, you guys, for the contribution. I'm going to like all of them. Then <laughs> comes back again. Well, it doesn't never comes back. We never saw the vet again. If that even was the vet. I don't know. What? Nothing on the thing. The person that said they were the vet. Okay. <laughs> Finally, the vet tech comes out again. The vet so tech. So we've been here almost 90 minutes. Is he dressed in a tech style garb? Jasper's been in this carrier and he's very upset. He hates being in the carrier. And okay. He's been here for 90 minutes. By the way, who is fucking asking Jasper exactly? If you cared about how Jasper feels, you want to get him fucking blood tested so you can see if he's all good. And he doesn't have some weird fucking disease like gout or something, like kitty gout. I don't know if that's a thing, but. Well, they, they told him last time that Jasper was overweight, so maybe his uric acid is up. You don't want his back claws to be fucking inflamed, because that's the only claws he got actual claws on. We're allowed into the room. If he even I mean, saw pause. the room, I don't know what I mean. fucking know, right? I have no clue. And, he, you know, what you want to talk about a night and day experience. Last year... Cats hide illness all the time. 
Blood is the only way to figure it out most times because by the time he shows symptoms they might already be dying. Look, I'm not going to act like I know anything about cats because I don't. But my family has a dog, uh, one of the dogs, it's a Yorkie. And last time they took it to the vet, they did a blood test because they wanted to make sure that she's good. And that was about it. We never heard any kind of drama or big story about it because it was a blood test and it was all good. And then that was it. And apparently, according to Phil, Jasper's never had a blood test. They brought him to the vet. The vet offered to give him a blood test. He got all fucking salty about it for no reason. Here, they're nice. They're kind. Within 20 minutes, we're in an exam room. Jasper's out of the character. He's he, out of the carrier. He's playing. He's enjoying but it. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's, it's going to cost actually 400 something dollars. That seems suspicious to me. It's like uh, it's like they're trying to scam him like they did with a car repair. So he's having a good time, right? He's having a good he gets time. Vaccine, which is quick. We're out of there within 40 minutes. We're 90 minutes into yesterday's visit, and we don't even know what's happened yet. I was ready to walk out. Kat was very upset. She's like, I want to get out of here. This is absolutely ridiculous. I said, if they don't come within five more minutes, we're leaving. And then they can figure out how to bill us. Because I've had enough of this. This what? is fucking ridiculous. You're going to be get... You're gonna pay money for not doing anything because you you wanted to leave. How we're being how we're being treated? Are you right? serious? So, finally, the vet tech comes out again, not the vet, and says, "All right, we're all set." I said, "What do you mean you're all set?" This is the longest story of all time. What do you mean you're ready to go? Did he get his vaccine? Oh yeah, when well, we brought him back before, we examined him, we got him his vaccine. He's good to go. You didn't tell us. <laughs> You never even, we've been sitting here an hour and a half. I'm glad this happened to you, Dark Side Phil. Again, this might be the biggest piece of shit veterinarian on the planet. Still, I'm taking their side, because you're just a whiny piece of shit. Get fucked. You never even told us that you did that, right? So I go up to the front, and I pay for the exam of the vaccine, and they give me that tag that says that he's been vaccinated. When Jasper gets a blood disease or cancer, He'll blame the trolls slash detractors for not making enough money to pay for the blood test. <laughs> Dude, the no, th th there's going to be a fundraising event for Jasper. Hashtag save Jasper. And he's going to bring up Jasper to the camera and be like, look, Jasper kitty, you want them to help you, right? You, you really want to live, right? You don't want to die. Say something, Jasper. Say, say something, Jasper. He's shy. Vaccinator or whatever. And they hand me a ton of paper. Hashtag save Jasper. is. Okay. They give them paperwork. No, until you know, until I have a chance to read it. I said we had, we got Jasper home. We had a ton of shit to do. We had to go grocery shopping. We had to do a ton of stuff. So later that night, all right, I come home, and we're finally it's time. Let's read the paperwork. It's like eight nine p.m. now, right? So I start reading. All right. Paperwork. So it's a uh, hundred dollars for the base visit, which is already pretty expensive for me. Uh, Three hundred fifty to get the blood work. Drawn, shipped, tested, and analyzed in a separate lab ran by another company. The source is a vet visit in Seattle. Look at how far these detractors would go. They would go to Seattle. These people, they're so fucking obsessed with me. They took an actual flight to Seattle. And they adopted an actual pet and got a blood work done. Just so they can tell me how much it costs. And I'm telling you on the paperwork all of a sudden it says all this these shit people they're fucking idiots the that this vet never told us about all right number one it <laughs> this is a great combo it's a uh, air quotes plus voice crack combo and look at this on the paperwork all the this is all this shit on the paperwork that this vet <laughs> right this is going so, in point one speed I start reading the paperwork get a load of this and shit on the paperwork, all of a sudden it says all this shit. On the paperwork, that this vet never told us about. All right? Number one, it explains the whole vaccination process. It says last year he got his first dose. This year's the booster. Now that he got the booster, he doesn't need a rabies vaccine for three more years. So we don't have to worry about getting him back to the vet for his vaccine next summer. It's taken care of. Cool. We got three years to wait till 2026. Did the vet tell us that? No. Never explain. Another thing, and this really got me, okay? There's something on there that we absolutely should have known. The vet didn't tell us. It says, Jasper is starting to show early signs of a little bit of dental plaque. Now, it's uh oh. Early. What you can do is... He's getting dented, you guys. It's over. 
you can do um he's getting infected with dent like dental treats you buy cat <laughs> dental dent, treats and it'll actually start cleaning their teeth nicely and as long as you do it regularly it should be not be a problem at all he should be good all right but it even says on there some cats it doesn't actually help you know, using the dental treats and long term they might need to get tooth cleanings all right so keep an eye on it the vet didn't fucking say that at all now after the vet appointment but it does say it on the paper right our day out we went to the pet store and we actually bought jasper things we could have bought him the dental treats but we didn't know we needed to get them because <laughs> the vet didn't fucking say anything okay <laughs> but they gave you the papers that say the thing okay. so why do you need everything explicitly pointed out and spelled out for you what the fuck is wrong with you? Literally, we went to the vet for an hour and a half. Oh, uh, they give you a paper and you're like, well, that's some kind of fucking paper. I don't care about it. And then you read it and it's like, well, that was actually important. What the fuck? They didn't tell me. Jasper was seen for five minutes. And literally, the vet told us none of the information that we should have known while we were there. Right. I agree. They should have probably told him. And it, it would take like 30 seconds. Hey, you guys, get him the fucking dent dental treat and uh he doesn't need a rabies shot okay thanks fuck off and but they didn't tell him that and now he's so fucking salty about it they just gave him a paper that says all that expected us to just figure it out later by reading this giant stack of fucking paperwork that they gave us to go home with okay so after that we got home we're like we are not going back to this vet and it's a shame because we actually had a great experience with Jasper about to eat liquid foods when the teeth <laughs> Dude, he's gonna go declawed and D teeth. Can't wait for D the cat tooth? arthritis saga. Cat arthri uh, arthritis saga. This shit's gonna be hot, man. I, I can't wait for this. Jasper is getting up there in age, you know? It's like people, you know? He, he got dementia. He's starting to forget about us. He's getting harder to move. Like, you know, it's like, it's like really hard. This vet last year. It's hard. We need, we, we're probably gonna have to put him down, but we can't really afford to go to the vet. So, uh, I might need to do it myself, you guys. I know it's, it's, it's gonna be really hard. We thought the vet was great. Now, now that COVID was over and you're able to go into the exam rooms with your pet again, we had a great time. He had a great time. I have pictures on my phone. What? Of Jasper having a blast at the vet last year. What? I'm not even kidding. Let's see if I can find it. What? He got, wait, well, what? Back here. Hold on. He's got, he's got pictures of Jasper having a blast. I want to see that. Does he have a party hat on? Almost. It's Chris. Does he have like one of those uh, necklaces, the Hawaiian yes. necklaces? Here's Jasper oh. at the vet last year. Okay, I'll admit it. <laughs> I found the vet and called them. Told them I was Phil and I have no clue how cats work. I ask for the works. Treat me like Firestone. Obviously, duty is behind all of this. Obviously. He got exposed by himself. I guess he, he admitted it. But look. Look, you guys. This is Jasper having an amazing time at the vet. Can't you tell by the generic cat photo of him somewhere? When He's having an amazing time. The exam room. And he was chilling on the counter. He's he was fun. chilling. He was having fun. He had a great time. You know, not in the carrier the whole time. This is like totally unironic. He pulled out this photo and showed it to the camera to convince you that Jasper was having a great time. This is dark side Phil, everybody. A a applause. This is amazing. I cannot believe this actually happening. That was all. And he's trying to use this as evidence. 22. This year, it's like a completely different Bruh. place. Like, you know, what happens to these places? How is it that in a year, they completely changed their entire process? Why did everyone else around us get to go into a room with their pet, but not us? Why were we rushed in and out for five minute exam, but kept there for 90 minutes? Why was the vet late? DSP, can show pic of his cat, no probe. Craig, how about WWE champions? Bacon grease sweat increases. Um, well... The debunk is that he was completely, fully, 100%, well, not 100, 99%, intending on showing Craig all the information, not just the champion stuff. He was going to dox his entire iTunes account that is connected to thousands and millions of games, but Craig didn't respond to the email on time, so it's all on Craig, obviously.
That's the truth. But the problem is, I think that's the truth. Anything happened. The vet is is basically we got the worst vet in the place, right? Yeah, the they worst were vet late for work. They were late. So we had to wait extra just for the vet to show up. And then they were having up, lunch. It was a rush job. Oh, he's just here for his yearly exam. All right, get him in quick. Let's do this fast. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're done. On to the next. Well, they're still here. Oh, shit, I got to go out there and talk to them. Oh, man. Oh, and I got to do my hair. And runs out in the sweat clothes. Hey, everyone. So just so you know, by the way, let's upsell on a $300 blood test. Upsell. Scam <laughs> the fucking poor scam. people. Scam. bucks that we definitely don't need Wait. to spend, but they're being idiots about it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I made, like, no money on this, this, this visit today, so let's try to upsell them to make profit. It, right, it's exactly what it was a $300 fucking blood test, you know. Well, I mean, on uh, the first link on Google tells me that uh, the, the, the cost of blood tests varies wildly, and from the outside, it seems pretty opaque. They can go from $15 up to $250. So, I don't know. Oh, but now. All right, well, uh, according to this site that has pretty pictures of cats getting their blood work done, so obviously this is a trustworthy site, it says this can cost anywhere from a 100 to $300, depending on the test needed. So if they needed to run every single test, then it probably would cost that much. Are you out of your mind? So... Are you crazy? That's not like it's my son or something, even though I refer to him as my non-human son. We're not going back. We're done. My non-human you know, child. And it's sad because, like I said, like he legitimately referred to Jasper as his, as his non-human child. This this dude is an alien. Last year, it was completely different. I felt like it was a great vet a year ago. and then The only way that he convinces me that he's human is by wearing this Hawaiian shirt that clearly no alien would be able to wear because they know this is not what's fashionable. Wow, this all changed. Even aliens know that this shirt is not, is not it. That's not it. Um... You know, in the in the last year, and now it's a completely different business. Like I would never go back there after that. That was such a horrible experience. Okay, right. Add this so, to the list. Yeah. So that's it. So anyway, that that was our experience. And it sucked because somebody's you know, getting banned. Hoping would be under an yep. hour. All in all, with that taking so long and the driving, it was over two hours out of our day. Oh, come on. Behind. So Wait, what? Two hours. We didn't actually get to do it. That's super suspicious and overblown. There's no way he stayed there two hours. Thing that we were supposed to do or wanted to do yesterday, you know, and he couldn't do a lot of things that we wanted. Maybe get up on time. To do, we had a lot of things lined up, and we're like, well, we just we're too tired. We don't have time to do it. He's too tired. That was the first excuse. So you actually had time to do it, but you just decided not to because you're too tired. Well, here's the thing, mature man, Mr. Maturity, Mr. Uh, household op operator. If you leave all your errands for a single day of the week, of course you're going to be fucking tired. Of course you're not going to have time for anything else because you left all of your errands for one day a week. What are you going to do? Mr. Right. Genius. Yeah. So, it is Suck what it a is. Dog off. Um You know, it's pretty sad. Oh dude, now uh Monkey Spang 2.0 is uh saying in chat he didn't have time to pay bills, which reminds me when his internet got cut off for about, uh, not even 24 hours, let's say 14, 16 hours, uh, somewhere last month, somewhere in June, uh, he brought up that he couldn't pay his bills as one of the, the things that he got crippled by the lack of internet connection. He couldn't pay his bills, and he had mobile data the whole time. It's pretty sad that that's how we were treated uh, after having such a great experience last year. Out here, there's a lot of competition for pet health care. Okay. A ton of vets... There's a ton of these places. So why they think they're going to do well in an environment when you have direct competition literally right around Oh my the god, he's going full on Karen. Every single check mark in the Karen book. Uh, I don't get. But every single one. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens uh moving forward. Hopefully uh we find a better one, you know. The ex moda says, do you ever thought to ask them why the visit went like that? Yeah, it's called customer feedback, which you're supposed to give after your visit. Oh, we're going to give it to them. Don't, don't. Oh, don't he's going to give it to them. No we're going to give them the feedback that they deserve. And they're going to understand why we're not ever going there ever again. Okay, you but you're going to give it to them in an online form that nobody's really going to care about. Like that, you know? Yeah, you're not actually. Dude, you're not as tough as you make yourself seem like you are. You're not actually going to tell this to a person. You're going to leave a. Uh, one star review that it's is just gonna be forgotten about for eternity the point is it doesn't matter why 
He sounds like he's about to end their whole career. I'm going to expose them and never go back again. They just lost a customer. The fact that it happened is bad enough. I don't care. Oh, it was an extenuating circumstance. Well, I don't want to be your extenuating circumstance. I want to go somewhere where I'm treated like everyone else. Not that we're the ones sitting in the waiting room for 90 minutes while everyone else got to go into a room. And we just sit here with our cat and our carrier for that time. And you don't do anything. And you want, you want to upsell me on a $350 blood test. Like, get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> get fucked, dude. So. Get fucked. Um, I'm glad yeah, it happened to you. That. And, uh, you know, they'll get our feedback. And it is what it is. It sucks. It sucks to even have to talk about it, but, you know, something to vent about, something to tell you, you know what happened on my day off, that's what happened on my day off, okay? Okay, should I feel bad about you? Is this like a sob story? Uh, let's talk about today, let's talk about- That you went to the vet, and you stayed there longer than you expected to be, and then you made a whole story out of it? Really? Schedule. That's not what mature people do. Mature people take it in their stride and just forget about it 15 minutes after that, because they got more important things to worry about, you fucking dipshit. Okay. <clears throat> So, someone literally said the entitlement. Wow, you're a fucking idiot. You think that a consumer be asking to be treated like all the other consumers in the same business. And <laughs> this is literally every time uh, the response he gives out when somebody calls him a Karen. Literally. Well, you're, you're fucking expecting me to take a different fucking experience than what they're providing to a consumer, you fucking idiot. Getting the money, you're getting what they pay for. Getting a good experience, especially when there's competition in the area, you think that's entitlement. No, you're an asshole. You're a complete idiot. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. There you go. He went to the bathroom, then he came back. I and mean, it's a pretty dumb statement, don't you think? What? That's like, so you go into a restaurant, a table of four. Oh my god. You all order. The, the dude is hungry, all the food yeah. analogies. Three of you get your food at the same time and it's all great quality. You have to wait an extra half hour to get your food and when the food comes out, it's all fucked up and then they want to charge you more for it than everybody else. But if you complain, that's entitlement. <laughs> wow. If you're on the internet real smart when you say shit like that, right? Yeah. Are you real smart when you spend 20 minutes crying about a vet visit that didn't even necessarily go wrong? It just didn't go the way you want it? I guess you're very smart about it, but who am I to say? He has a podcast. He can say anything he wants on his podcast because that's how life works. Oh, that's a very nice thumbnail, duty. With a, with, a, with a Jasper with the X's for eyes. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, what else we got? Uh, any, uh, any clip suggestions, everybody? Let's make this a late night stream. It's almost 3 a.m. Let's go crazy. Let's go uh, batshit insane. Hey, by the way, this is uh, it, it's getting very positive feedback. Our review of uh, the Mario movie, including DSP. Our review of DSP's review. Very positive. Uh, it was a lot of fun making this. Glad you guys are enjoying this. Uh, what else we got? We got a- Oh, I wanted to watch a, a Wings video. Hold on. Just a quick Wings video. Because there was some, uh, apparently he had a deleted stream, depression stream. He was crying or something. I don't know. So let's, uh, uh let's, uh, let's go to Wings of Redemption. Let's check it out. Uh, Breaking Banquet. Absolutely classic rage. And there was one that I watched that I specifically wanted to find. I, it's this one. Is this one the wing wing dome video? Big ups for duty. He's number one day SP to track core. There you go. Big ups, uh, Bojangles. I'm gonna hit you with a heart on this super chat. There's some channel called Wings Dome or some shit like that. Wings Dome. So what do we get in this one? Wings of Redemption has a rough stream without teammates. Hashtag not not hashtag. Uh, brackets deleted pity stream. Let's see what this is about. <sighs> I got our I got the new webcam from Keemstar today, and I don't think it's gonna look <laughs> as good as it is because I stream at 1080p and it's a 4K camera. Like this camera's fucking huge, man. Okay. I got I got to I got to play around with it. Ah, uh, did well, why 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 do all of these lol cows? Actually, none of these lol cows have any kind of a noise gate. Why do I have to hear every single disgusting noise that comes out of your mouth? Is that an, a, a part of the lol cow appeal? I don't- I don't need to hear this. And then you lick your fingers and you wipe it in your shirt. Now that's a combo. And I'm not even talking about muting your mic. You don't actually have to mute your mic. If you set up a noise gate that is sensitive enough so it doesn't pick up any of that shit. 
It's really basic stuff. And another one goes down. Is he gonna wipe his hand in his shirt again? Nope. Very nice. And he's just sitting there quiet. People are watching this. This is content. Mm, delicious. Is this uh, feasting with wings? Yeah, Zaxby's chicken. Zaxby's chicken. There we go. Wow, that ch that chair has seen some shit. I uh, see Mills. If you guys want to play, let's play. All right. I oh, it, like a lot of least like this dude is still playing Rainbow. Gold, I'll play what with you. What kind of an addiction is this? This is the the WWE champions for Wings. He's been playing Rainbow since the game fucking came out. He's been raging so much. I got one person to play with. Hello, everybody. I'm live streaming, and people will be saying. Oh, this messages. is the recorded portion. None of it's true. The money's not real, and the messages aren't true. Let's Wait, what? Game. Thank you. Did they find a way to to fake dip him? <laughs> and a nice well, finger sniff. Well, you never really pass away from heart attack. We donate your body to science. <laughs> <laughs> I had my heart tested fairly recently, and I'm my heart's good. Like I, like <laughs> and he takes it literally. He he answers honestly to this question, which is pretty impressive. I gotta give him some credit to that. Really, people in my family don't die from heart; we die from cancer. Okay, so okay, really thank you. Cardiovascular problems. I know there's probably a clip out there saying my mother had a heart attack, but that was from chain smoking, the not from the you know protected. eating or any kind of natural health disabilities. Okay, thanks. That's a that's a generous Come reply, on, dude. DSP would just ban that and not even say the message and say it was some fucking idiot. Did you say that the money ain't fucking real. Did you not hear me say that? How is it not real did though? Is he getting like fake tips, or did they find a way to fake super chat him? Which, as far as I know, is not really possible. Port echo, please. Uh, ban RR, please. All yep. right. In the future, ban anybody using that red emote and anybody. <laughs> that wants to laugh at you. The ready mode isn't the, 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 the frowny face? The the, the YouTube uh, red uh, face red droopy eyes? Is it that one? God damn, Wingo. Ban everybody. I, nobody <laughs> wanted to play. Oh, man. And he got team killed. Oh, that's classic Wings. It's actually pretty impressive. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I should give him credit for this, but how fast he lost all of that, the, the benefit he got from the, the, the boxing fight, it, it's all gone. He's back to level one, which is pretty impressive. He couldn't manage to, to harness all the positivity. While, uh, while Boogie got this uh, almost underage girlfriend that he's got going on that kind of looks like she's been through some stuff, uh, but... Wings is completely reset to level one. Can uh, you guys please uh, report RX clips and RY <laughs> hots, please? Thank you. Oh, I'm doing well, man. For real, if you have to tell people in lobby PP, I will message you to team kill me. They were. Oh, that's what you mean. Stories. It's time to hang it up. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay. This is a fake super chat. Uh, I'm sure it is. Uh, but I'm gonna heart it anyways. That's a real heart. Just to verify that it's a real super chat. If I can't heart it, then it's not real. Uh, but so uh, apparently people are sending messages to the people that he's playing with uh, so they can team kill him and they're going to pay him. But they, they don't pay him. Oh. No, I'm not video on this watch. He's not this. Uh, I think this is going to give me all the context I need. Then I'm going to go back to the, the DSP it's stuff. Getting team kill like... People, people that team kill you, they their reputation goes down. I'm not gonna rep put my reputation down team killing. It's just them people believing people are actually gonna give them money for a fucking siege game. It means they're gullible. Hey you, why don't you donate? Nobody cares, you fat bitch. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, thank you for giving me ammo to get you banned on voice on PlayStation. I'm doing you a service by team killing you. Activating solid He's doing him a service by Yo, team man, killing him. What? That sounds kind of weird, I'm not uh, none of that shit's true, bud. Hey, Gamebox saw Barbie. Kill that's a that's a good flex. Team kill me. I wish I you saw Barbie. Nah, man, Only thing I'm watching is is Wings of Redemption. <laughs> but dude, Ryu, you're so bad. You're so ass. Shut the fuck up. You're so ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like.
like I'm watching Wings troll videos from like 2018. It's the same thing. How did he go back to level one? It's impressive. He had all these opportunities to elevate himself. He was buying himself trucks and stuff. Joker. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. It, it is about sending a message. And this is the message. You're fucking fat, nigga. You're trash. You're trash. <laughs> this is the message. You're trash. You're trash. Thank you for the five dollar donation, Coochie Slaps. Yo, you Okay, is there anything else? Let's see. Um, is he eating again? I think he is. Like, I don't give a fuck about win or lose. <laughs> this is ASMR. It's time to go solo again. Yep, time to go solo. Wait, is that a Coke? Or is that a Dr. Pepper? Uh, yeah, that was a Coke. He could have got a sponsorship from Pepsi, dude. But he cocked himself and he got a Coke. That's a Coke, definitely. It's not even a Pepsi. That's dirty potato chips. Deli style. Oh, it's uh, stylish. Uh, art artfully crafted. Partially peeled. And uh, something else. And now we're back to eating. <laughs> but I gotta say, this is still... More genuine than any DSP stream. Something. DSP puts so many layers of like the fake internet guy persona that he becomes like unbelievable. It's just su such a like a disconnect from what an actual person would act like, and and it, it's just it's just fucking weird. That's why he's so engaging. Uh, let's see some of the Aquatil stuff. Maybe there's something more recent. There's the Master Luke guy. Who actually released a video, there was this, uh, let's see here, my mod, Luke, DSP, if I can find it. Oh yeah, there we go, that's the video. So there's a guy who's, uh, I think he's actually gonna explain that for you. I don't normally do this, but this is really funny, and I want people to know, because there's a rather large community of folks out there that enjoy laughing at a certain YouTuber who came forth at EVO once and never lets you forget it. So Street Fighter 6 has just come out. It's been out about a month. It's a really cool game. It's got lots of qualities and lots of things that fighting game fans are looking to enjoy. My community hosts a fight night every Wednesday where we get together and we try to improve at these games because we're all of different levels. Some of us are better than others. Some of us are more engaged than others. But the one fundamental thing is that we try to learn and we try to be better than we were the day before. We have varying levels of success doing this. But one member of our community is considerably better than the rest of us. And he is our, essentially our dojo master. He's a friend of mine and a mod of mine. And his name is... So the reason this is important, guys, is... This guy, who takes his time to help players not as good as him, takes his time to arrange this every week in spite of the fact that he has a lot of obligations in his own life, he does this because there is nothing more invaluable than playing against somebody who is better than you. Because one of the best ways to learn... Yeah, music is too loud, dude. So, uh, basically his mod played DSP, and he was the master Luke. That's and then he violated DSP. To the point where Dark was, was legitimately fucking crying about it. And apparently there's a lot more to just... To this video than... The actual thing. Bojangles, did you for real jump on a sock right after I fucking timed you out? That shit is cringe, dude. You're getting banned. Play the game, game's over. Gee. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, that's the that's the story. It's like a community get together. It's like a family get together. We're going to someone's big backyard to have an exhibition wiffle ball game. We're gonna have fun. This isn't the big leagues. <laughs> We're not going out there with the intention of you know, playing a super hardcore. Stupid! The spacing pisses me off. I swear I was under her jumping. And that we're gonna freaking be dominating everything. And it's like, you know, this is not professional. This is us messing around, having a good time. Didn't do that, are you kidding me? <laughs> right. Just mess around. That's what it's suppo supposed to be about, these casual fun lobbies. Oh my God, think about this. Missed, missed fireball, sweep, up, kick. All before I could do one jump. Just think about how bullshit that is. There you go. Uh, wait, hold on. How quickly one forgets the top haters forums? Hey, hold on. We got some lore up in here. This has happened 
many times before in my life where someone takes something so goddamn seriously. And I don't understand that mentality. Why did they hit me? <laughs> That's actually a great, uh, a great title for this chapter, because the top haters forums was DSP taking literally everything super seriously, and his he made his own forum to troll people, and then was crying about people not using his forum. Come on, I was under it. Come on. Yeah, I'm trying to jump. Why is she still on Dude. the Dude, it's ridiculous. Jump, you fucker. Nothing I can do. It's literally, she has no options in the corner to get out, and that's why she's low tier. I can't get out of the corner if she's in my face. Tonight, I want everyone who joins the lobby to pick their mains. I want to see your diamond, your master, everything master level. I want. What is this also blurred? What is what's with that? Hardcore. I guess it's so it doesn't get copy struck or something. We're really try hard to dominate tonight and see who can hang. Right? Yeah, I don't even remember anything with her. Yeah. I don't even remember a basic combo. <laughs> every button I pushed, every single button that I pushed got counter hit by her mid screen. Nothing I can do. Literally nothing I can do. No options because she has no reversal. That was not what we were doing. It's well, there you go. You, you get the story. So it was this guy's, uh, this guy's mod. And this is uh, a pretty good video, so it's pretty well made. You can check it out when you, whenever you want. Uh, let's go to something else. So Cyrax got arrested again. Uh, I want to see the the Danny Brown clip of it because Danny Brown, uh, the the rapper, he's an actual rapper. He's also into Cyrax lore because he he just plays like that. Uh, we need to get him into DSP lore. He's gonna be a detractor. It's gonna be hilarious. So uh, I, I want to check out this video. It's probably gonna be kind of short, but I want to learn why Cyrax got arrested again. Somebody sent me this on Instagram. Uh, I think it's because he hit his grandma again. So Cyrex motherfucker showed up to his crib. I want to give it a shot. Pro, well, not motherfuckers. One motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He showed up. They showed up to his crib with a uh, with a uh, with, with, with protesting signs talking about how he a pedo and all that shit. Goddamn. P <laughs> and um, he he actually came out of his house with a bat and started attacking the motherfuckers with the bat. It <laughs> wow. Wait, so I've never heard or seen this guy yet, but if you show me any of these pictures and been like, this guy's a p I'd be like, that tracks. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, he's a nasty <laughs> motherfucker, man. Fuck Cyrax. But yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck Cyrax. But, um, the actual video of the police locking his ass up, he was screaming like a bitch, and it was just, oh my God. Yeah, there you go, right there. <laughs> he was 53 like, minutes. No, that's documentary. Shouts out to homies that's and all that shit. <laughs> but yeah, he was screaming like a bitch, crying like a motherfucker, like all that tough N-word boy shit went out the window, man. That shit was, oh man, it, it was it was like music to my ears, man, seeing oh that shit. It, it gets to, uh, the second one right there. Yeah, you gotta cut the sound. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta hear it. Yo, yeah, that that that's what gave us the the latest Cyrax scream. I wish I could clip it. Hold on. Uh, let's see this one. Cyrax. Let's just go with Cyrax. Uh, goes off on the police in person, but that's just one day ago. I need the the older one. Is it this one? He's the craziest he's ever been, but that's an hour long thing. Want to see the actual the arrested one? There it is. Yes! Yes! That's it. Why you keep timing me out what duty? <laughs> I'm not even timing you out, bro. I banned all your socks because you're obnoxious and you spam the same message over and over again. But I'm going to take your money and I will heart your super chat. And that's a, that's a privilege. I don't do that to anybody. Unless it's today, because I figured out I can actually do that today. But you keep spamming, you're getting banned on all your accounts. That's it. Let it all out. Let it all out, Cyrax. Wait, I, I, I need another Cyrax howl, and I need to clip this. Yes! Let it all out. Let it all out, Cyrax. I want to know why you did this to me. Because you're a child predator. <laughs> Okay, well, sell that to the evidence that do you, speaks. Do you have uh, anything? Actually, this is public. Oh, yeah, this is public. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just public. Sir, sir? Wait, let me check if it works. Yeah, 
Yeah, it needs some work, but it kind of works. Yeah. Sure, well, you you gotta go. You need to keep him away from me. You gotta go. You're gonna go to jail too, Ed. You gotta, that you gotta go to jail too. Worse. This is public. Don't make it worse. This is public. Not right here. Ain't... Uh, this is a public no. sidewalk. <laughs> Back up before you catch a charge. Who the fuck is this guy? Wait, wait, wait. Who the fuck was that guy? Back up. What? It's like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like a, a, a Bigfoot the uh, site before you catch a charge too all right well he got arrested again there you go let's see the rest of the context big ups to all the re-ups because it's 3 a.m so obviously that's that's when it happens let it all out cyrax i want to know why you did this to me because you're a child predator <laughs> Okay, well, is that his mom? So, so that's yes, the evidence yeah. that speaks. Do you, do you have uh, actually, this is public. Yeah, this is public. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just public. Sir, 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 will you, you, gotta go. you need to keep him away from me. You gotta go. You're going to go to jail too, Ed? You're going to go to jail too? This is public. This is public. Not right here, ain't. Uh, this is public. <laughs> Dude, this, this not his dad. Wasn't his dad like a pedophile that is in jail? <laughs> Or something? Oh, you I don't know. I'm, I'm not really up to speed on the Cyrax lore. Look at him. Why did you guys try to help me when I scream for help? <laughs> when you scream, bro. Sure, yeah. I was screaming for help. I'm sorry that this happened. They actually got a trial when they arrested you for being a pedophile. They actually got like body cam footage when they was in the house. He was screaming and crying like a bitch, man. But nah, man. <laughs> Cyrex, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it has, man. They've been the landlord. Oh, man. It's been, I mean, it's so much body cam footage of Cyrex, man. It's just not, it's, it's way too much, man. But, uh, no, I mean, nah, that's not going to be the future of DSP. DSP yeah, is, yeah. is way more well adjusted than, than fucking Cyrex. I mean, Cyrex, just like, look at him. And he's been it's, he's been going through it, man. They've been trying to get him evicted from his house, man. Which I I mean it's it's all bad, man. But yeah, he just needs to. So funny. He just need to get off the internet, man. That's all everyone wanted, you know. He just need to just get away, man. But oh, yeah, uh, he looks like he looks like someone who spends way too much time on the internet. Yeah, man. He's just I mean, what? Oh, look at the <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh my <laughs> right god. Yeah, that Cyrax problem is spending too much time on the internet. Obviously. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at him. That's a, that's a face born for mugshots. The funniest part is everybody talk about it. We're like, if you see him in person, it's 10 times worse than what you can ever see on the picture. <laughs> they like this motherfucker looks fucked up in real life, man. Yeah, but... Uh, dude, the Cyrax, hold on, the Cyrax with the uh, glasses. Uh, do, do we have the Cyrax with the glasses? Can I find a clip of that? Yeah! Look, look at him here. And then, come here on the DSP Gaming channel, right? You guys love that channel, it's, it's great. And then you find a very specific pre-stream. This one! And now I'm gonna brainwash you. I will show you... This image, then I will show you this image, then back and forth, back and forth. There we go. It's the same guy, same person. Except Cyrax, that's a hot take. Cyrax has more swag than DSP. He wears the shades better than DSP. What's goody, what's goody, what's good? And he also got like this weird leather jacket type of thing. He got the confidence. DSP just got the look. He put on some shades. He's he's thinking that he's he's got all the fucking swag. Coming after you. No. No. That's fake. Cyrax got it. I'm thinking your boy man was gonna drop in. Yeah, look at this. Say what's up. Say what's up. That's what's up. But yo, Bender Boys, what's good, bros? How you guys doing, huh? How you doing? He's talking like an Italian-American gangster. More like, more than this guy who is supposed to be an Italian-American, but he's a fraud. He's a fake. He's barely even a, a human specimen. This guy, he's the real deal. Look at this. He even got a ring. DSP, does he have a ring? 
Yes, he does, because he's married, and it's a the fake marriage. And it's your job to avoid the enemy as best you can. To avoid. Doesn't even speak English. He's a fake uh, American. Yeah, y'all don't bitch ass haters and think I can dress up, did you? Yeah, look at this. Fantastic. Uh, let's uh, go back to DSP because I'm I'm starting to feel a little bit sick. Uh, what else do we got? On this channel, it's trash. Let's watch some reacts. DSP reacts. That's the channel. And I uh, misspelled it so we get a bunch of... What do we actually get? Because I spelled DS something else. Uh, but we get some totally other stuff. Nothing related to DSP whatsoever. We get... Um, I, I don't even know. Gotcha React? What the fuck? What is this? Gotcha Club. I don't know why there's so much gotcha in here. It's crazy. Now, I don't want to watch the, the Dick Stroke and Phil Vlog's new video, because he should get all the views to his channel, to his video himself. I don't want people to watch him through me. Uh, I can watch him a week from now, once that's done. Uh, but let's uh, check out some React videos. Sound good? Sound good. I think there should be something that would appeal to me here at some point. American Cuisine, DSP ranks it. Nope, I got a pass. I will say uh, that's a Silvano thumbs down from me. I haven't seen the new Avatar, or at least the last Avatar. Yes, uh, we did talk about uh, his thumbnails on TBS yesterday. They're terrible. Everything about them is bad. There's not a single thing that his thumbnails do well or interesting or make me want to click it because the word the name of the game is clickable on youtube you make something that people want to click on or at least it engages their curiosity or attracts their interest and none of this does it for me cyrex stole day jacket from Ma. it has shoulder pads wait for real really is he wearing a female jacket well He's carrying himself pretty well in that jacket. He's he has the confidence. You know what I mean? He he knows how it works. So there you go. Uh man, this channel is completely destroyed with a bunch of shitty reaction videos. When was the last time he got a thousand views on a reaction video? Let's actually do a little bit of an experiment and try and check that out. So none here. We're watching specifically DSP versus the internet. And uh looking at when was the last time he got over a thousand views on any of these videos so far nothing from three weeks ago four weeks ago so we're getting up to a month oh there we go video game donkey street fighter 6 review my own rage montage making pasta dsp versus the internet the last time he got over a thousand views was june 17th which was way more than a month ago uh actually it was published on June 20th, and he got exactly 1,066 views. So that is, is pretty bad. I mean, that, that channel is it's not, it's not going well. God damn it. Oh, what else we got? After that, really nothing. We got the Street Fighter 2 animated movie is still the bomb. DSP reacts. Uh, we're not interested. Fight and Feast finale. Fi what? Fight and Feast finale. Finale thoughts on an awesome event. Why couldn't you just cut out one of the finales and not have a redundant title? I guess you don't. I guess that's not what we do over here. Legion of Superheroes. What the fuck is that? For those who don't know, DC Comics has a long and storied history of having their... No, no, I, I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm clicking away. There's trash. Um, the state of DSP reacts three months in feedback needed. That was two months ago. That that shit is crazy. Oh, what duty? Um, no, not really. Um, I'm gonna be watching DSP reacts. Uh, an inter intelligent, meaningful, and quality content. But I'm gonna like your super chat because that's what we do here. This is the the like stream. Uh, what else we got? The Peacemaker review, the tier list, American fast food. Didn't he actually do that? What was his latest? What? Did he have the same tier maker tiers? Yeah, American Cuisine was one of them. 
And the other one was American fast food. The fuck? All right, anyways. Uh, the Batman 2022 is, is darker, grittier, and more realistic. Quote unquote better? Hmm, very interesting. Uh, the Whale, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, I actually want to check out this review. I think I'm going to end the stream with this review of Zack Snyder's Justice League. All right, can we quick can we get into it? Oh, and the top comment is great. Please feel never change. You can. Your content provides so much entertainment. It's astounding. Um okay. That's amazing. That's an awesome intro. Welcome to DSP Reacts, YouTube Reacts channel. It's like an AI made this intro. Hello, Phil here, and welcome to my review of Zack Snyder's Justice League movie. Now, this is kind of interesting because I actually did not see the original Justice League movie when it hit theaters several years ago. Uh, after having seen Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice and feeling it was atrociously bad... And then having seen the first of two Suicide Squad movies on digital demand and hating that one too, I was done. Digital with demand? DC cinematic Universe. I, okay. I just had no desire to really see any more movies. I told my audience that as they asked me, oh, will you go see this one? Will you go see that one? I was like, I, I just don't care. Uh, they really did a bad job, in my opinion. Um, I was so disappointed by Batman vs. Superman, oh. how badly the character. Look at his pit stains here. Wait, what? Were I haven't noticed them. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look at them now. Like, everything was bad. Hold on. Um, and so... Because it might also be a shadow from his microphone. When Zack Snyder's Justice League was released as a redo of the Justice League movie that essentially was gonna take a it's two a redo? atrocity to become a four-hour epic. Uh, no, it's just a director's cut, really. Well, it's, it's more than that, okay? But again, I wasn't necessarily that interested because I had really... Because it's in 4x3. Really tapped out. The way God intended it to be. DC Cinematic Universe. Well, since I recently have been watching a lot of stuff on HBO Max, my viewers have asked me to finally watch this movie. And let me tell you guys something. I was blown away. I was actually... Really? ...surprised in many different ways. I was um, blown away? I never, again, not having seen the original cut, I didn't have a frame of reference to directly compare and say, oh, this is better or worse than the original two-hour theatrical cut. To give you guys some background, Zack Snyder was the original d director of the Justice League movie, and the task of this movie... Was I actually agree with this a lot, Officer Sanders uh, says in chat, going into the Snyder cut, you're like, oh, great. They took the worst movie ever and extended it by two hours, but it's actually a lot better than the original. But still, how much better is it than the worst movie ever? Because, like, the, the, the theatrical Joss Whedon... Justice League movie is such a fucking piece of shit that you can't you can only polish a turd so much It was to try to bring together the cinematic universes of Superman Aquaman <laughs> Look at this. He's trying to look at OBS and point at the right characters. It's so cute And by cute, I mean, it's, it's stupid Batman had been in <laughs> Batman versus Superman But also to introduce two new characters in the flash and cyborg and create a big Justice League movie That was supposed to kind of be like the Avengers of But the not universe difference being it's less like Avengers and more like Avengers Endgame like it really feels like, this is the end game deal, but they skipped all that content in between and rushed to the finish line to try to compete with Marvel. Now, if they did it right, it would have been great. The problem was Zack Snyder, as he was making this movie, ended up suffering tremendous family heartbreak. His uh, daughter committed suicide. And because of yeah, that, that's he fucked up. bowed out of the project midway through. So DC hired, of all people, Joss Whedon, the same person who had worked on some of the Avengers movies, to come in and finish the movie. These actors, after the fact, reported ser like seriously stories of abuse, serious stories of like some of the worst things they've ever been through making a movie. Ben Affleck Really? No, that's that's this and said What? N ben Affleck was always a fucking alcoholic. What the fuck are you talking about, DSP? You fucking moron. Wondering why he was even doing it because it was such a bad experience and such a bad The Justice League made Ben Affleck an alcoholic. Are you fucking serious? Ben Affleck's been an alcoholic longer than DSP. 
So, wow. You know? So when finally it was announced... Come on. Well, that movie that came out in theaters was an atrocity. But Zack Snyder is back, and he's <laughs> able to retake the helm of this movie, and he wants to recut it back to the original, incredibly lengthy format that he originally envisioned for it. People were excited. They were campaigning. Give us the Zack Snyder cut. Give us the movie. Zack Snyder. I want movie. all the it's Snyder. four-hour-long movie. That's yeah, longer than no. any Marvel movie. That's longer than any Lord of the Rings movie <laughs> no. that I've seen. That's we don't want to see the that, buddy. film ever. What they did is they cut it into these digestible parts. I They're mean, not digestible, though. Putting a chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four before a one hour segment doesn't mean it's digestible honestly there's like it's like you're doing like a dsp playthrough seven parts to the movie where it's each one is a different topic honestly you don't really need it in my opinion like it definitely can be watched as one start to finish movie although it is so lengthy that it can feel a little bit longer. yeah I i'm pretty sure it's longer than the extended uh lord of the rings cut for any of the movies i think in certain parts essentially what i need to do is kind of give you an idea of what the movie is so spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie yet i strongly recommend you watch it first before you watch this review unless you just don't care but essentially this movie tells two stories the first story is the story of a threat to the earth there's these three over or, or um almost like ultimately powerful items called the mother cubes they're hidden throughout the planet. They're called mother boxes, dumbass. Planet, usually in each one of the different... How do I know? They say it a, a million times. Civilizations. One's hidden with man. One is hidden with the Amazonians oh, that Wonder Woman is from. And one is hidden under the sea in the land where Aquaman comes mother from. Mother cubes. Apparently, these mother boxes are so powerful. Hey, there we go. United, they can create a dimensional rift that will open the dimensions and allow this world-conquering entity named Darkseid to come to Earth. Hey, it's the Darkseid. Big up. Darkseid wants to come to Earth because... Wow, well, is this movie about V? Apparently, there's this hidden thing on Earth called the Anti-Life Equation that would make him ultimately powerful in the universe. Oh, it's the forbidden math. It literally is about him. Once you figure out the forbidden math, you... you you break the game, Badly. dude. If there was even history. There's you pass the level. Previously, Earth had been under attack by Dark Side's armies and minions. <laughs> the Dark the Side actually united back then in the past and fought them off. We're talking about the old gods like Hercules and Zeus teaming up again with the Amazonians and you know the people from Atlantis before Atlantis was even an underwater uh, empire, and they they warded off the evil forces of Dark Side. And Dark Side vowed one day he would come back. So. Sir, um, this is a veterinarian office. Can we take a look at little Jasper over here, or do you want to talk about Justice League? The movie's plot starts <laughs> off with a new invader called Steppenwolf, this guy who's head-to-toe covered in... This like, terrible. Alex. Steppenwolf's oh, such a terrible shot. fucking villain. Movable suit. It's totally... Such a dog shit generated. fucking villain. He's supposed to be, like, the ultimate baddie. Uh, like, not... It, it's not just the actual... The, the voice acting, or the behavior, or the motivation... It's just the way he looks as well. It's just so bland and nothing. He uses all kinds it's of like powers. like a nothing villain. Powers, but a lot of brute force powers as well. And this is the villain you're going to have in your Justice League movie? It's somebody with zero character, charisma, anything interesting going on about him? And he invades Earth with a bunch of these creatures called parademons, which also... Cannon fodder. Of the world that they're invading from, is, by the way, is called Apocalypse. I don't even know if it's even mentioned in the movie, but I know as re from reading DC Comics, that's the world that Darkseid comes from. He uh, comes so from the dark. Darkseid comes from the world Apocalypse. That's that's very inspired. Shows up with and a meaningful bunch of these parademons, and he says, "We got to take over this planet. What we're gonna do? We're gonna try to find the mother boxes." Unite them, and then Darkseid will come in. Now, the, the truth is that Steppenwolf apparently is an offcast of Darkseid. Darkseid doesn't like him because he betrayed him at some point in the past. And this is Steppenwolf's attempt to okay. try to get back in Darkseid's good graces. <laughs> um, so really, it's not like this is a sanctioned operation by Darkseid. It's really Steppenwolf trying to do it by himself, which would make some sense why basically he's kind of like... Bro, why are you explaining this so much? It's not that fucking deep. From the get-go. Um... <laughs> While this is happening, while Steppenwolf is showing up and going throughout the planet and invading various areas, like he goes to the Amazonian camp and he meets with the Amazons and he beats the crap out of them and steals their mother box. Beats the crap out of them. He's going to the underwater Atlantis. He's trying to, he takes their mother box. <laughs> while he's doing this, the heroes of the universe, including Batman. Okay, Wonder point Man, at them, please. Yes. Realize this is going on. <laughs> and what they're trying to do is create a super team to fight this invasion that's impending and save the earth. 
So you start off with just the two, but then basically the story, the other half of the story, is them going all around the planet trying to recruit others. Okay, the, the, the recap summary segment only works if you got multiple people on the show. So you can go through the story, and whenever somebody has something to say, they can say it. In, in regards of when it is happening in the story. But if it's one guy, you want to have a very quick overview of what is generally happening in the movie. So let's say in this movie, you know, the Justice League is assembling to go against Darkseid, uh, to go against Steppenwolf, who is looking for the mother boxes, which are going to summon Darkseid, whatever the fuck. Right? You don't, you don't want to go super into detail and just tell everybody what is happening in the movie, because that's just worthless heroes you know they go it's, it's just not productive and try to find uh the flash who is just uh in this game played by e in this game in this movie played by ezra miller he's kind of just a kid um trying to find his way you know his dad is the flash is like actually the worst part of the movie i can't stand him i i liked cyborg he was fun but the flash is just so fucking corny i, I can't i can't stand him really has no no and it's also ezra miller the, the the least likable person on the planet he's even less likable than brie larson parental figures or role models in his life so he's just trying to find his way but he's just a kid trying to get by but he has these insane speed powers uh and so they try to recruit him they try to find aquaman who apparently is just someone who has been i don't know because i didn't see the aquaman movie but in this movie i guess he's kind of like either disowned or he's he's an outcast from atlantis he chooses not to go down there and take on his duties as, as i guess who she's supposed to be the true ruler but he doesn't want to be instead he just helps people at this naval nautical town and tries to fit in as a normal person when in reality of course he's a super being but you know he doesn't want to let that on um and then you've got cyborg i'm pointing the wrong direction who is a essentially just like a, a kind of a, a cyborg a He's a, like a football He's a player jock. Who gets into a horrible car accident with his mother. And his mother passes away and he's, you know, clinging on to life. It just so happens his dad is a major scientist. The head... Yeah, I, I like the, the Grand... Is he Grand Gustin? Grand Gustin, right? Grand Gustin. Yeah, I, I like this uh, the, the this Flash way more than the Ezra Miller, Miller Flash. Research. This is the one thing that CW does better than anybody else. And their Green Arrow is, is also pretty good. At Star Labs. No. The, the Stephen Amell Green Arrow. He's great. He, he's very nice. Uh, he's not a very good actor, but he does a good job in the, the series. For those who don't know Star Labs. Even though the writing is pretty bad. In the DC Universe, Star Labs is this really ultra-powerful research company. Usually it's, it's controlled by some either some supervillain or a government entity. Um, and basically they do some kind of like crazy high-tech research. And this guy says, I'm going to save my son. So without the sanctioning of Star Labs, he puts all this cyborg technology into his son and essentially turns him into a living machine that can now hack things just by thinking. And he has he turns his arms into guns and he flies. Wow. It's kind of like Iron Man without the suit. The suit is him, kind of. So anyway, you have all these new characters introduced into the movie. I mean, Aquaman is not new, but Flash and Cyborg are. And a big arc of the movie is seeing Batman and Wonder Woman trying to recruit all of these people to a super team. Now, there's a lot of things that happen during the course of the movie. It's a four-hour movie, so I'm really not going to go too heavily into everything. But, in a nutshell, I really like some of the action scenes when you've got the forces of Steppenwolf going up against, say, the Amazonians or going up against you know some of the people from Atlantis and stuff. It's kind of neat. And in fact, my favorite fight scene in the entire movie was actually the flashback when it showed the first time that the forces of Apocalypse tried to invade Earth and all the old... I don't know, even Earth remember that part. Teamed up, the old gods and this the is Atlantis such a... This, and, uh, it's a four-hour movie. The Amazonians, and it was a really epic fight that reminded me of, say, the final fight in Return of the King. No, don't say that. Avengers Endgame. It no, I don't say the that. Effects were good and everything, and it was short, but it was action-packed and very exciting. I don't, I don't really know why is DC so bad at the special effects? Because yeah, I, I know sometimes Marvel gets them wrong too, especially in the the more recent ones when it kind of feels like that that they just hired the B team. But man, DC, even in their flagship movies, that the fucking CGI looks terrible. I need your boyfriend. A you complete my butthole. Hey, big ups, uh, Vikes. Uh, I don't know how butthole went through the the 
PTS filter, but there you go. Uh, shout out to Bojangles for keeping the mods busy today oh, yeah. by spamming the same thing over and over again on a thousand fucking songs. My butthole. And this played twice. Wow, this is great. So right at the end of the movie. This is where the heroes are basically <laughs> invading Steppenwolf's base. And each hero has a unique part to play. You know, Batman okay. is just a human, but he's got all the tech, so he basically takes yeah. out the you know, even though he's at risk doing it. Then each other hero has something else that they need to do. You know, while Wonder Woman and Aquaman are, are, are distracting Steppenwolf and holding off the forces, you got Cyborg who's trying to hack the Mother Cube. You got... Uh, the Mother Box. Flash who's trying to build up a super-powered speed boost so he can power the Mother Cube so that Cyborg can hack it. Like, each one has a unique uh, part to play in the end game, and I really liked that too. I think that was really well thought out. The actors themselves, I would say, are quite good in their roles. And after hearing all of the stuff about, uh, Miller, uh, are you for fucking real? The actors are quite good in their roles. Have you seen Gal Gadot fucking act? Have you seen that woman act? Are you serious? Being a horrible person in real life. God damn it! I was, if I was gonna like. She's a terrible actress. She's actually genuinely terrible. She seems like a nor like a nice person. I think she's probably a, a good person. Nice woman. You know, nothing wrong with her. She's just not a good actress. She's a terrible actress. Flash because you know, actors deliver lines convincingly. And she doesn't. Character, you know what? I actually did. You're just fucking posing. I thought that the Flash character was humorous. Quirky. And the Flash was humorous with the worst one liners ever. He has the worst, most corny jokes ever. He, but is he the Barry Allen that you know from the comics? Absolutely not. But this Flash still kind of worked. I actually liked the character. Um. Okay, I gotta do, start doing some criticisms now. Okay. Right. Batman in this movie, Ben Affleck. I don't blame him. I don't think he did a good job because I don't think the character. Why do you not blame him? Like literally every scene, he's like bah, 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 talking in his Batman voice. There's scenes with him without the cowl. <laughs> And he's still talking in his Batman voice. It's Dude, nobody has a Batman voice but Christian Bale. Because that was the Christopher Nolan Batman voice kind of thing. Stupid. All right? And he's like, oh, my superpower is I'm rich. And that's really it. Like, he's supposed to be like a, a spoiled rich guy the whole movie. Just using his, his money and his toys to do stuff. It doesn't feel like Batman. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like the Batman we know even from the other cinematic universes. It just Which ones? Feel right. Which other cinematic universes? Um, I don't like... This is what happens when you do a completely unscripted review and just ramble to yourself. You end up with a 25-minute just talking to yourself segment. That could have been saved for when he's having a shower and is just having these thoughts in his head. And it's just a an inner monologue review of the movie. I like this version of Batman, quite frankly. I feel like it's it's kind of a crappy version. And he doesn't have much to do in the movie. In fact, until the finale, where he's really the guy who's the most at risk because he has no superpowers, but he still has to take down the force field of the base, he doesn't really do much. Um, Wonder Woman. All right. Terrible. I was very critical. She's terrible. Like eight years ago, when I saw Batman vs Superman of the Wonder Woman character, she was always terrible. I still have to be critical. I'm sorry. I don't buy Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. I don't. Amazonians are supposed to be strong, muscular women that are super powerful, and they're supposed to be like the best of humanity, right? Like, I mean, they're like go gods among men. What? They don't. They, it's the worst fucking criticism. They look like cosplayers. The entire. Amazonian race in this movie looks like a bunch of cosplayers, actresses in outfits that you wear for Halloween. It's it's a joke. They don't look powerful. I don't buy it. The first scene is so well shot where it introduces Wonder Woman. Thank you for banning that guy, dude. He sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about the guy. He just comes back on random socks and I just lean him. She's trying to pretend, excuse me, defend. But it's actually impressive how many socks that guy has. And I've seen a lot of them in DSP's chat. So this is just a guy who lurks in DSP's chat. Some people from terrorists. Very terrorists interesting. Trying to shoot the people and she runs in front of them and blocks every bullet with her magic bracelets. I'm like, wow, that's badass. Except she looks terrible. Because it's, it's, again, it what? looks like a cosplayer. It doesn't look like someone who's supposed to fit the role. The casting is awful for the Amazonians. And it's just terrible. I don't get it. By the way, no no slight to her acting. I just It doesn't look right. I don't buy it. It would be like if every other superpowered male in this movie was a skinny dude like Ezra Miller. Imagine if every one of them... Wait, 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 right. what? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Why do we have to have everyone else a roided, a roided bulky male, but... 
the Amazons look like skinny, skinny cosplayers. I this is the, the weirdest complaint I've ever heard. So the Amazonians are weird and he doesn't believe in them because they're not roided out. Let's look at the uh, Amazonians. Ah, fuck. Amazonians, right? Amazonian women in, in particular. Okay? They're not really roided out. They are muscular. And this is the first photo that comes up. I guess these are some maybe cosplayers or behind the scenes of Wonder Woman. Well, there you go. Yeah, that, that's literally from Wonder Woman. So these women are not roided up, but I would buy them as Amazonians because aren't Amazonians just very tall and strong? They don't have to be actual bodybuilders and those ladies don't look like bodybuilders. My problem with uh, with Wonder Woman is that she's just not good at acting. That's that's it. She can totally sell it as anything else, but she's just not good at acting. I just don't get it. I, I really have to criticize. And another criticism, every single time Wonder Woman shows up for a fight, they play this this audio clip of an Amazon going, oh, 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 oh. It is obnoxious. Like, the first time you hear it, okay, that's cool. It's kind of an introduction to the character. The second time you hear it, all right. I'm like, wait, they're not going to do that every time. Literally every time she shows up in an action scene, they play it. It is so annoying after, like, the fourth time. And there's, like, 20 times in the movie where they do it. It's ridiculous, okay? Uh, Aquaman. I don't like really remember that. I remember in the, in the Aquaman movie when every time Aquaman showed up in like a badass kind of way, they played this uh, distorted guitar sound, like where it was like, and he would show up and it would be quote unquote badass, but it would be corny as fuck. And in that way, that movie is pretty charming. It's like you, you're playing a video game and something that would only happen in a video game happens in a movie. He's all right. He kind of feels like a filler character who doesn't get a lot of development in this movie at all. Um, and yeah, they're supposed to. Well, because that's because uh, DC took the easy way out, and they wanted to get the fast track to uh, an ensemble cast, uh, ensemble cast type of movie, where it's like the Avengers, but you didn't develop any of the other characters, so you just have them in a movie together. You just put him up there. He doesn't even get to really use his wa water powers that much at all either. He's more just like kind of a tough guy than anything else he doesn't he doesn't control or talk to an, uh, aquatic animals and use them he doesn't really control water that much at all like he just, just doesn't do much he's kind of a wasted character in my opinion um i already said ezra miller i think does a good job he's quirky he's funny he's supposed to be the no character no cast but ultimately no he's, he's terrible of of the his lines are terrible the way he delivers them is corny and obnoxious the cw guy is way better so i think he's actually a really good character in the in the movie how he's written cyborg here's the thing i like the character i like the plot i hate the cgi i feel that cyborg is the weakest effect in the movie he cgi was pretty bad cool cgi body that's moving and stuff it doesn't look good it looks cheesy to me and i feel like they should have gone with a different design for cyborg maybe less cyborg parts make him look less cyborg realistic uh okay let's see dc cyborg okay let's see how he looks well he well not this one um uh, yeah he he looks like a cyborg i mean he got a metallic body and just the, yeah he's more cyborg than he is human like what do you expect yeah look at this look at this this is cyborg of course they could have had better cgi instead of cgiing henry cavill's lips because he just doesn't look very good because if you didn't know about this here's a tidbit of uh of info um actually let me put this up um Superman CGI lip. They spent a bunch of fucking money trying to CGI Henry Cavill's mustache out of his face because he was filming Mission Impossible back at that time and they needed to do reshoots for the theatrical cut of the Justice League. So they spent a boatload of money removing the dude's mustache. So he looks like this. This is iconic. This is what a, what a great moment in uh, cinema history. God damn it. Good, it's, it's constant CGI. It's like if, if they tried to CGI out uh, DSP's goatee. 
CGI down your throat. I just don't think it works. But actually, I like the character development of the character because he's he's battling with his: Am I human? Am I not? Should I even? Be I alive? think uh, I think he actually refused to shave because he knew that he was filming a better movie. In uh, I think it was Mission Impossible: Rogue Nation. He's mad at his dad. Or oh yeah, it was a uh, Mission Impossible: Fallout, dad, which, which is a better movie than the Justice League. You know, live any any cut of the Justice League. In his cyborg form, but then what happens is later on in the movie, the father sacrifices himself in order to try to save the planet, and then the son gains newfound respect for him, and now wants to kind of you know avenge his memory or hear the loss of his dad. Okay, life, thanks you know, for the recap, you know, Phil. What do you think about the movie? Twist, because up to that point he hated his dad in the movie, so. It anyway. costs twenty four million dollars. <laughs> you know, I mentioned every character except Superman. Oh, so reason, dude! Superman's barely in the movie because he's dead. You know, in, in Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice, Superman died uh, to Doomsday, and in this one, basically, they know he's the most powerful entity on Earth, but he's dead. So for the movie, they they kind of like flub around the fact that maybe they can revive him, and then at one point they realize, oh, we can use the power of the mother boxes and stuff to revive Superman, and then they do, and then there's a whole other arc. Where Superman has to go spend time with Lois and his mom to try to... He oh, lost his Lois. mind. Lois. This movie is just a Jewish Batman simp. Dude, what? I never I never saw that he was Jewish. He doesn't know who he is. But he I know he was a Batman simp. He was sucking his ass. He's fighting everyone. And then finally he gains his senses. It's pretty stupid in my opinion. Like, honestly, I think it actually is one of the weakest things in the movie. It's cool when he comes back at the end to kind of help them save the day. But it's kind of a lame story arc, the way that it's done in the movie. It almost feels like it's kind of wedged in because they wanted Superman to return. But at the same time, they didn't really know. Like, it could have been its own movie, honestly. Him coming back from the dead. And I don't know really how it fit, really fit in uh, with Ultimate. Yeah, yeah. And supposed to go originally in this Most movie of these not. things could have, could have been their own movies, but they decided not to do it and just do a Justice League movie. And then that's why it all failed, because they just rushed everything. But it just does feel kind of wedged in a little bit last minute. So he's only in, like, the last hour of the movie, if that. Um, and, and it's just kind of so rushed that it feels weird to me. Um, anyway, so overall, here's what I like about the movie, okay? The plot is not bad at all. It's kind of interesting. The oh, effects, for the, the most movie, part, were... himself a Jewish boy. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. I didn't know I that. that. Cyborg is kind of weak, and I do think uh, there's a action scenes with the CGI that's just over the top too much CGI. Yeah, we needed the well. Joker in this one. For the most part, I, I wanted the Jared Leto Joker. I was impressed. Oh, that would have been so good. I personally am a critic of a lot of <laughs> CGI in movies, and I think modern CGI doesn't really look that good. I didn't mind the CGI in this movie much. I actually thought it was quite good. Um... And I do think that the cast, once once united, work well in the end game, where they're all working together off of each other to try to survive and, and to make it work, their plan. I think it actually is, works quite well. Um, but I do feel like some of the plot lines are a little bit too drawn out. Um, it is a four-hour movie. Does it ever feel like it slogs? Maybe once or twice during the earlier segments. Wait, maybe when the Justice League is getting together. Maybe it's a little bit slower paced there. It could have been done a little better. But for the most part, four hours kind of fly by. Like, holy shit, I didn't realize it's been four hours I've been watching this thing. You know, I watch it in like one hour segments over four nights. And, it, you know, I didn't have a problem with it at all. He's been watching this movie over four days? I mean, I can kind of understand him on this one. It's an actual four fucking hour movie. Length, I think that it was actually well executed. And because they had the time to flesh out the plots the way they wanted to, this crazy ensemble cast, I mean, this this movie has so many popular actors in it. It was such a crazy ensemble to fit into a, a, a regular movie. I can't imagine how they could have all... Yeah, that's it. why you have a build-up to that. You don't just drop a four-hour movie on them. ...in their due in the four hours. Uh, uh, the the Avengers hours. took, like, what? Three to four years up until the first Avengers movie of building up characters? hours and you making know, it all make this, sense like alfred sucks in this because here's why he's not alfred alfred is essentially in this universe the dc universe here alfred is kind of like oracle the the tech person who stays behind and feeds intel and controls all the tech that's not alfred he's literally never been that in the comics and they made him into that into this universe i didn't really like that but outside of that um it's a pretty solid movie now you want to know what the movie essentially ends three and a half hours in. And I was happy with it then. I thought it was pretty good. This movie has like a 20-minute epilogue. 
that is one of the most obvious things I've ever seen. What? Okay, seriously. The epilogue features an entire, <laughs> like, 10 plus minute segment that is Dude. the future vision of what could happen. Oh, no, that's terrible. Stops dark side and he invades Earth. It shows the ragtag. Yeah, they had the Joker in that. Of Earth's heroes and so they had a, a kind of a steampunk batman with weird goggles and the joker the villains teaming up together you thought this was badass to try to stop dark side including batman deathstroke uh the woman oh, from no. the movie who's played by what's her come name? on dude amber heard i don't even know the character's name because i didn't see the aquaman movie and she yeah it's miro or something movie. um mara whatever of all people all right uh cyborg and the joker whoa yeah, the joker, as played by J uh jared leto leto in this movie only in this what if future scenario that lasts a few minutes now let me tell you something oh yeah the joker actually said we live in a society that's right i remember this this version of joker is creepy and interesting unlike the jared leto joker that was in suicide squad and and the other dc you movies this one this joker is creepy man and i think if this this joker had more time to be fleshed out and become a better character this could have worked in this cinematic universe everyone criticizes jared leto's joker but maybe it wasn't just his fault maybe it was actually a lot of creative direction that was bad because this this shows if he had good direction maybe he could have been a really good joker character okay so anyway there's like a 15 minute what if scenario then to end the movie there's an Easter egg. Martian Manhunter appears. Whoa, that's crazy. And it says, I know that Darkseid's on the way. Also, Martian Manhunter in the theatrical version was just Lois Lane. I think it's time for all of And us it was really weird. Heroes. It made absolutely no sense. And creatures who've been living on Earth to unite and stop. But at this point, I, I might not even be correct. I'm not exactly sure about this. I just remember Lois at some point was Martian Manhunter, and it made no sense. Hiding in the shadows and unite, and Batman's like, man. I but it's all good. just like, let's throw a bunch of shit. People are going to love it. It's references. He's going to grow. And that's kind of the end of the movie. So I like the epilogue. It's really good, and that kind of epilogue is something you would never have seen if the Zack Snyder cut was allowed to be done. Let's be okay. honest, a typical movie would have been two to three hours. They would have had to condense a lot. A lot of the side character arcs wouldn't have been fleshed out, right? In fact, I'm curious now, and the thing is, I don't want to watch it. But th th that's, I know that's a very DSP thing, but just because you have more of it doesn't make it good. Just because you have 60, 80,000 playthrough videos doesn't make them good. Just because you have a four-hour movie doesn't make it good. The, the theatrical cut is... Yes, you have a lot of stuff happening that doesn't make it good. So bad, but you got to wonder what two hours of content was cut out and how that really badly affected the movie. That is true, yeah. The theatrical cut, way worse. Um, Was Darkseid not even in the original cut? That's what I heard, which is crazy because, like, he's supposed to be the... Wait, but... Uh... <laughs> He didn't even watch the original cut. He just watched this one and then is like, well, I guess that happened or it didn't happen. I don't know. Thanos was the big ominous threat coming to the Marvel Thanos. Universe. And if he wasn't in it, I mean, that would have completely... Wasn't it Thanos? So, I don't know. Anyway. Overall, I don't know. Anyway. I like Zack Snyder's Justice League. I think the action's great. The plot is pretty good. The acting is good. There are some foibles and, and missteps. Like I said, I don't like Batman in this. I don't buy Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Um, what do you think about it being in 4x3 aspect ratio for absolutely no reason? Kind of misused because he's only wedged in the end and it seems like it should be a whole Nothing. plot that shouldn't even be in this movie for him to come back from the dead and everything. Um, but for the most part, I recommend it strongly. In fact, I think out of all the movies in the DCU, this is the best one of the ones that I've seen. This is like hands down. Like this is four times as good as Batman vs. Superman. This is like 10 times as good as the first Suicide Squad movie. It's like that good of a movie. I was No, no, that. come on. Come on. This movie apparently originally was panned. Really? Yeah. Suicide Squad movie was bad, but it was kind of funny, entertainingly bad. And this is just an attempt at making like an artistic statement, making an art film out of fucking Batman and Superman and, and Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. It's terrible. And it's way too long, it's way too pretentious, and up its own ass, like everything that Zack Snyder's ever made. No. 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 Go fuck yourself, DSP. I mean, again, what if we just let the actual people who are creators and have artistic visions like who? do the art they want, instead of 
hindering their because it fucking sucks creative process i mean if you listen i forget who the name of the director is for the suicide squad movie not cool. James Gunn, the original suicide squad even he said that movie sucks and he knows it oh you know, yeah I, that was um fuck i forgot I created. I created a completely different movie they retooled it they cut out all the parts and now the movie who was that guy's name fuck i forgot because it's not my vision how terrible it was the guy who made bright right um bright netflix uh that dude what was his name david ayer david ayer that that's what you get this dude fucking sucks except when he made some movies that are not trash but uh he made the suicide squad he made bright he sucks right now here's an example you let the actual person make the movie they wanted and yes correct the uh the the suicide squad movie the original suicide squad was edited by a trailer house so it it totally fucked up the whole movie because it's edited like a music video and it's really bad. But even without that, it's still th there's not a lot of good material to work with. You can see that it's it's pretty transparent. This movie is great. I actually really enjoyed it, and I'm actually now that I've seen it, I'm like shit. This universe is dead. Can you imagine if that epilogue came to fruition and there was a Justice League two and there was all this stuff going on? It's dead. They're starting over. They're rebooting now. Because the thing got so screwed up. And that's sad. Because I feel like this actually is quite a good movie that could have worked. Uh, continuing on. So, anyway, I recommend it. Check it out. It's on HBO Max. It is four hours. But, man, it's a good four-hour watch. If you liked all those Marvel movies, this essentially is the one movie that I feel like is the equivalent to those. That could no, it's not. With it. No, no, no. Um, and it's This is not even... The Justice League is not even better than uh, Age of Ultron. It's not even better than that one. And that is widely, wi widely regarded as the worst Avengers movie. Justice League, the four-hour cut, not even better than that one. Good romp. It's a good, it's a good watch. No, nope. okay? no, it's four hours long. It's really not worth it. Everyone, thank you for watching my review. Of and go fuck yourself. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. That's going to be it. And, yeah, I, I guess there we go. I don't have anything more. And, um, shout out to Hate, I guess. There you go. Uh, see you guys. I'm gonna go get some sleep, and I'll see you next time. And I'm probably not gonna be in the dark, like now. Alright, big ups. See you around.